Let's go color some more cool things, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go color some more cool things. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wow. Now go this way. Wow. That's right. We're in the brecky. Hmm. That's where the final boss is supposed to be. I can't figure out how to get to that square. I apparently missed a square up there. A rectangle, I guess. I haven't been to the bank where we forced yet. That's where one of the things is going to be. And one of the other things is going to be up here. I haven't talked to anybody here in Brecky, though. I only just found the place, and I was like, it's time to go to sleep. I binge watched the entire Harry Potter movie series for the first time. Ah, I haven't watched any of the movies. I've read the books, but I've never watched the movies. I do that a lot for things. Or I read the books, and I was like, movie? What's that? I think one of the only series I've both read the books and watched the movies is Lord of the Rings, and that's probably about it. Definitely see what all the hype was about. Very hop. Very, very hop. G comma. What kind of food is that? I've never heard of it. I was having a pretty rough week. But I always felt feel better when I'm with G comma. <laughs> I don't really get it, but thanks. I'm just being me. That's really all I need sometimes. Oh. Everyone visits Brecky for the beach. But people who live here are kind of over it. That's why I'm always stoked when... T uh, uh, it's, it's not time. It's, uh, so that herb is it time. I'll freak it out. When time comes to visit. She reminds me not to take it for granted. <laughs> Between the sound of the waves and Jikama's chill energy... Yeah, it always mellows me out. You should just move here. But then I'll get bored of the beach. Oh, yeah. Okay, you better stay far away. <gasps> Is that how it works? Once you get used to it, it's not exciting no more. Hmm. What kind of animal that is? An otter, maybe? I don't fucking know. Hmm. I I don't see you, kitty cat. There's a cat up there, jumping around. I was mostly just checking to see if there's any trash on the top of the screen here. Because it was hidden up here, right? No, there isn't. <clears throat> Harry Potter's amazing, but it took 20 hours to watch them all. God damn. It takes you way longer than that to read all the books, though. So, you, you won, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks like an otter to me. Kind of looks like a cactus otter, though. It looks a little prickly. Ah! Hi! Um, I don't know how to say this. I have something to show you. Okay. That is... A black and white version of the painting I drew of myself. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's my version of your self-portrait. It looks very similar to mine. The one hanging in the wielder tower. Did you trace over it? I really wanted to make something just like it. Of course, I couldn't use colors like you do, but... but what do you think? Uh, it's, uh, it's great. Ha! Ah, thank you. Um, I want you to have it. You got fan art. Okay. 
Let the man have his win. This is literally my drawing, but just like traced over. Like, come on. I guess everyone starts somewhere, right? Um, if you actually hate it and don't want to hang it anywhere, that's okay. It means a lot that I got to give it to you. Thank you for making wonderful art. I've inspired this guy. Ah, ha ha! I'm probably your number one fan. You're like literally the only person who talks to me like this, so probably. I keep telling my friends about your great art. They're probably kind of sick of hearing about you, definitely. But that's because they're just uncultured. Uh, alright. I don't know much about art, to be honest. So I don't know how to put into words what I like about yours. It's just so... you. Your personality comes through in everything you make. It's also charming and unique. Okay. I know you aren't everyone's favorite. But that just makes me like you more. I'm on your team. I don't care what anyone says. History will prove them all wrong. I'm so excited to live in a picnic full of your art. This guy's buttering me up like way too much. It's like overbearing now. Thank you for your amazing art. And also for uh talking to me. I didn't think you'd have time to chat with a nobody like me. Uh-oh, insecurity's coming up. But it makes me so happy. Thanks. Uh okay. Oyster? Oh, otter the oyster oyster the otter, right? Definitely an otter. If I make fan art of you and just trace over it? Um, well, uh, if I don't know you traced over it, I'll be like, Wow! That's, like, really good! How'd you learn to draw like that? You just practiced or something? Been working on this sandcastle all day. I don't even know why. I just really... I just got really into it. You like it? Looks fun. Thanks. I really want to be a pop singer. I had been getting ready for a big audition, but some bad news came today, and it seems like that's on hold. Oh. I didn't know how to process it, and now I'm here building a sandcastle and trying not to think about it until a stranger comes along and talks to me, I guess. Ah! I know it's gonna be okay. I know I can try again, in theory, but it's hard to keep feeling that when all you have in front of you is rejection. I'm trying to stay positive. I just want that chance so bad. Sorry for dumping my life story on you. Hmm. Edge of the map. I guess we'll go up first. We do have a letter to deliver up here. And a child to kidnap. Hmm. We should make you... What color should we do? Yeah. If it keeps... Stop doing, like, the tree instead. Yeah. This kid don't want to get colored. Okay, I guess you're a white cat. Are all the edited pictures of you I make that are fan art? Hmm, I'd say yeah. Is this the highest house in Brecky? I do have a letter for the highest house in Brecky. Curry. You're chicken the wheel there, right? I'm... Well, let's just say I run this sweet shop. Yes, let's just say that. I gotta design a sweet. Got time for a little side quest? Wanna design an extra special sweet for me? Sure. I can create sweets in any shape at all. Make the most wild, delicious thing you can imagine on this plate. Create an extra special sweet. Oh, well, it's a good thing we got the rainbow uh, stamp recently, right? It's a rainbow donut or something, right? Hi, Twitch streamer Prophelia. Hi, Twitch viewer Dolby. 
What's up? What's happening? How's it going? Hmm. It didn't work out like I thought. I thought when I double tapped it was gonna do splotches. What the fuck is this abomination? I don't know. We gotta stick a cat on top, obviously. We call this the Chloe cake. Amazing. Oh, wow. Folks are gonna love this thing. Let me whip you up, whip up a bunch. Yeah, okay, okay. Whew. Looks beautiful. Thanks. Making colorful sweets is fresh technology. That's all thanks to Dr. Cheese's research. You've got to meet her sometime. Her lab is just north of here. As for how I make the sweets into any shape, well, that secret is mine and mine alone. Oh, did you want to change up your sweet? That's okay. This sweet is so handsome looking. I can't bring myself to eat it. I've just been staring at it forever. I didn't know sweets could look so good. Now I'll be disappointed to eat anything else. Sweets ruined for this guy. Look at my beautiful, amazing. I, how do I take pictures again? Look at this beautiful, amazing sweet. What do you think, Chloe? She's not in the room, but I'm sure she'd approve. It's definitely not the three kids in a trench coat. H Hello, fellow adult. After a busy day of eating grown-up vegetables, we are, I am, enjoying a tasty sweet. It's very responsible and adult of me. And I am allowed to do this. As much and as many times as I want. Because my mom doesn't make the rules anymore. H have a nice day. And you re and you get find new rules. Rule the new rules are called how much you have in the budget to afford eating as many sweets as you want. <gasps> You've got to pay all the bills. Guess this is not the highest house in Brecky. Nope, oh, I see that trash. See that trash over there, too. Get over here, butterfly. Antelope. What a surprise to see all the color gone today. I think there's something beautiful about a, a blank world. A huge canvas for us to fill however we want again. Feels like a new beginning. Color now. Life goes on, I guess. Maybe it's okay to leave it blank. Feels strange, but maybe we're just not used to it yet. <gasps> he says after I've already colored in the page. The screen, the whatever. You're looking for gnomes because you have nothing better to do. That sounds like a fruitful use of your time, so go ahead. Can't be any sillier than me going around coloring all this stuff. I was wondering why that there was a uh, Lined wall there. Uh, Taiyaki, huh? I found Taiyaki's gaming den. And you're streaming right now, right? You see that microphone? They're totally streaming. Uh, uh, hi? Did you just break into my room through the ceiling? Are you a fan of my streams? Yes. Oh, 
You don't know who I am, do you? Sorry. <laughs> I feel awkward when I'm not on camera. Oh, a letter for me? Oh! It's a challenge. This person says they're the best in all of Picnic. At Mega Mash Sisters. We'll have to see about that. Oh, uh. Did you want something as thanks? You can take this old spare. You got gaming TV. Wow! I'll message that person for sure. Maybe we'll have a match here soon. But I'm gonna keep streaming for now. You delivered a letter. Your mailbag is empty now. Go talk to the postmaster in dinners. Hey. Um, hi. So, do you play many games? I stream all kinds of things. Especially Mega Mash Sisters. Oh, I'm horrible at that game. Oh. <laughs> I promise I'm less awkward on stream. You should tune in sometime. I'm trying to get more subscribers. I'm sorry, I can't really chat more. I'm actually in the middle of a stream right now. Well, then how are you awkward? Because you're, you said you're awkward and you're not on stream, but you're streaming right now, so you shouldn't be very awkward, right? Does that mean I made fan art of Dolby when I made the dinosaur Dolby? <gasps> Maybe! Oh, my big-eared avatar user. Fine. Furry streamer? Is it really a furry streamer if that's the default, though? Because everyone's an animal. I, I, that's the default. I guess technically, yes, but... I, everybody is, because they're all animals, though. Having a human streamer would be weird. It's clearly a costume. Everybody's wearing costumes. I guess I should go get more letters. Uh, up this way. Which way is it to dinner? This way. Go to the postmaster and see if they have more mail for me. Be one screen up, I think. Yeah. Finally delivered all those letters, eh? You're welcome. <clears throat> well, there's more where those came from. You got a bunch of letters. God damn it. Da -da -da. Well, for your hard work, you can take this too. Got mailbag. Wow. I got a postal outfit now. Anyway, this is the last stack of letters. The first one is addressed to the workshop on the river. Oh, I know where that is. Get to it. I bet that's the hat guy. Huh? Postal service achievement unlocked to deliver mail for artichoke. True. But I still got more to deliver. I bet it's the hat guy. Right there. Well, doesn't answer how you are. User of resplendent big eared avatar. I'm doing pretty well. I enjoyed myself a nice lazy sat toward a. Now ready to... Let's do it. Ready to... Play video games. Play a singular video game. Hey cat, what's up? What's happening? How's it going? Splatoon Philia? I guess. There's no PvP though. It's just uh, walking around. Hydrate? Alright, alright, alright. Imagine watching a human stream at 11.39 p.m. on a Saturday. I'm not right. Insanity. Nobody would do something so crazy. Wait. 
How do I get there again? I had to go like up here, didn't I, or some shit? You cannot get there from down here. Oh, what is the brew path? Hold on. What is that? The other side of the brew path. Uh, that'd be this guy, because he's right next to a river. Well, your custom hat, isn't it perfect? Yeah. Oh, well, it's not him? Hmm, I guess it's not. Oh, I guess he isn't on a river like I thought. A workshop on a river. Would it be style maker? Didn't specify what kind of workshop. I'm truly lazy unless you have a nice bath to relax in. Oh, is that so? Uh, this way? Wouldn't be this way if I couldn't swim in the water, though, I don't think. Hey. Down. Down. This guy. Yeah! Is that a letter for me? Oh, it's... Ahem. <clears throat> it's a bit embarrassing. Okay, I'll tell you. It's my new figure skating costume. You see, I've got a dream. To be a figure skater. It's not something I like sharing because, well... I'm scared people will laugh at me. But I shouldn't let that stop me. I'm trying to share that side of myself more. I have to, if I want to show myself on the ice someday. Actually, can I share something else with you? You got sequins. I got a fancy ice skater outfit. Oh my gosh. I had that delivered before, but it's too small for me. Looks perfect for you, though. Wear it and follow your dreams. You delivered a letter. You've got another letter to deliver. The address is exactly halfway between the luncheon bench and Blackberry's house. The transit bench? Check your letters any time on the collection screen. Luncheon bench. Blackberry's house. Right there. Luncheon bench is right there. Halfway it'd be like... Somewhere in the woods, wouldn't that? There's nobody there, though? Nobody lives there that I know of. Oh, maybe it's the spider. Maybe. Sp there's a spider living in sup supper woods somewhere. Yes, well, I guess I wasn't lazy enough then. <laughs> oh, so sad. How will I ever survive this? It is a spider war. Oh, is that a delivery for me? <laughs> a 
it's the triple layer sweet bake I ordered from Brecky. It does look like it aged a bit in transit. Oh well. Mm. Oh, that hit the spot. I just can't get enough of surface world food. Especially sweet bakes. Oh my, yes. That's why I left my home and feast. Please accept this as my thanks. You got some trash! Oh, three trash, huh? You delivered a letter. You've got another letter, le another to deliver. This, the address is... Lone Cabin High on the Mountain from Mochi. Oh. Oh, I know. The one who told me to fuck off. Check your letters anytime on the collection screen. It's okay, I'll give you a pass. Alright, alright, alright. I was like at the beginning of the de desert peak area. The snowy place I was at yesterday. You like spiders? I hate spiders. <laughs> How dare they come into my territory. I guess they're fine if they stay outside, though. How do we get up there again? Oh, quite know. There's a bench up there, though. I should just fucking grab a bench. Somewhere. Hmm. I don't remember if he was on the mountain or not. <laughs> Somebody I talked to once and they told me to fuck off. Get through this area. No. Too cold and windy. Oh, really? Oh, oh, oh. What's up, though? What's up? What's up? Ah, ha! You bitch. Oh, dirt. Where be this house? We're really halfway up this mountain. I have the feeling not. I have the feeling it was a side path somewhere. I went past it. Bitch. 
I'll just change the wind on me at the last second. Next time I can just skip up. Ah, I forgot for like the 5,000th time. I just forget to for, wait for the wind to change for the last one. I forgot that like four fucking times. Uh, I don't need to do anything with that. Thing. Yeah, it's definitely at the base of the mountain. Not this far up. Uh, you fucking little bitch. Fucking little bitch! You fucking little bitch! I, I, I gotta time it just right. You fucking little bitch! How dare you! This is the top. It's definitely uh, somewhere toward the beginning, though. And we go. Where is this bitch? I saw him before. When I first went through the area. Where did they go? What the hell's in here? Uh. Yes, I forgot everything from uh, yesterday. Where I started again. What the hell are you doing there? Hey, sup. I came to check out your cool colors. I like how you filled this place up. It's probably better than what I could do, so like, yeah, pretty good. You should still put in a good word for me, the... To the next wheeler, I mean. <laughs> Wink. Uh, okay. Maybe it's this way. We found them. Hello? I thought I told you get to get out of here. Y you did, but... I have a letter here for you. It says it's from Mochi. Do, do, do. Give me a minute. Do, do, do. He wants me back in the barber shop. Oh, you're a barber? Used to be. Mochi and I started a shop together in dinners. I love cutting hair. But, well, maybe you noticed. I'm not a people person. Don't know how to feel about this. I left because I thought Mochi was better off without me. I didn't think she'd miss me. It sounds like you two are good friends. You were. Okay, I'm going back. Cutting hair was always my dream. If I don't try again, I'll regret it forever. Thanks for getting that letter to me. You delivered a letter! You've got another to deliver. Addresses. 
Exactly halfway between the Tea Time Bridge and top of City Hall. So somewhere in dinners? Check your letters anytime on the collection screen. Presuming City Hall is, um... Dinners. This is a city, right? One of those buildings gotta be a City Hall, right? It's locked. Dang it, how dare they lock their house? Uh, I wanted to not steal all the things. Oh, what are you still doing here? I'm way too lazy for that shit. I've been through here before. Get me out of here. On well, this way. I'm the laziest delivery person ever. Hi, all oh, Pruffle Winks. Oh, I see, I see. Halfway between tea time something. The city hall, huh? What's city hall though? Is this city hall? Is it the big building with the roof on top? Is this city hall? Let me figure out where city hall is. This is the plant shop. Well, the solution is obviously just to talk to everybody. See who you can interact with, right? Bada boom. This is called brute forcing it. Oh, is that letter for me? I've been on this anonymous letter exchange for a while. For a while. A while. But letters were frozen with everything going on. This looks like it's from way before the color wipe. My pen pal is the coolest. I miss them. Sup, mystery pen pal. I'm on week three of Chicory Watch. Oh, uh, heh <laughs> Skipping down. Cannot believe her janitor, though. Clearly trying to make buds. I see through it all. I know everything about trying to make buds. This is definitely pickle. Because I am always trying. But honestly, I don't know how to know when someone likes you. I share everything about myself all the time, and then I don't know what to do after that. What makes people like you? Am I boring? Should I have secrets? I've never really said this stuff to anyone. But I guess it's kind of my secret. Wow, I really should stop reading this out loud. Delivered a letter. We've got another to deliver. The address is the most beautiful gal in luncheon. No, all of picnic. Check your letters anytime on the collection screen. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, okay. If you say so. See what? I see. The truth! Uh, what that truth is, I don't know. Who's the most beautiful gal in all of lunch on? Hmm, good question. Is it you? Nope. Is it somebody in the cafe? I wanted the dinosaur professor. I don't think I found a teacher outfit yet. Or at least not that it says. Not you, huh? I guess I should check you. Nope. Not you. One of the ladies in here? Oh? What's that letter you've got there, chicken? Maybe you should show it to Beans. Oh, 
Oh, beans! I think chicken has something for you. Ah, uh, this can't be right. Says it's for the most beautiful gallon picnic. Keep reading. Oh, 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 this is from Pepper. We're having a moment here. I know you won't believe it, but Beans, that means you. Aw. Everything's been changing so fast for me these days. When my son went missing, I thought my life was over. But then I found him, and I found you. And I found out my life was just beginning instead. Never thought I'd wind up caring for a house full of lost kids. But doing it with you now, I can't imagine anything less. Anything else. I didn't know someone could have a heart as big as yours. Aw, oh, jeez. And I didn't know that after all this time. I could fall in love again. But you've shown me a lot of things I didn't know. And after all, you came into my life with a letter like this. So it was only right that I used one to ask. <gasps> if I could stay in yours forever. Uh, Pepper? D do you really mean? Beans. Do you want a date? Gosh darn it. Yeah, of course I do, you big sap. I think I think I think our main character is like, whoa, what's going on? I'm still a kid. What? Whoa, what's going on? You delivered a letter. Your mailbag is empty now. Go talk to the postmaster and dinners. You know, I've never pictured life taking this road, but I guess sweet things can happen when you least expect. I'm so glad Pepper's gonna stay in, in or stay for the long haul. It makes me feel more than ready to take care care for all these kids. Um. Plus, she just makes me happy. This is too sappy. Too sappy! See what? What truth? The truth is that, um... That um, um, um... Um, um, um... You're not getting gnomes just because. You get gnomes because you enjoy the video game. Oh. Admit the truth right now. If you didn't like the video game, you would have just auto popped everything and left it long ago. Admit it! I was so worried. She was gonna pack up and go someday. I mean, this ain't her house or her problem. So why wouldn't she? And I didn't think she'd feel for me. The way I was starting to feel for her. So, you know, it was a whole complicated bunch of emotions going on. But finally, I can put some of that aside. And just enjoy living with her. Gosh. My heart was beating through my chest. While Beans read my proposal, I mean. I have never done something like that before. I guess Beans just pulls that side out of me. <laughs> oh, adorable. I have to go to like um uh go to something with uh dinners, postmaster and something. There is no truth. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going past dinners. I figure. I was making a track list for my new DJ set, but I got stuck, so I came here on a walk. I was trying to imagine what music I'd put with these colors. It'd probably go like... -la 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 -la. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay. But incredible. It looks like you've delivered every single letter. We're just gonna ignore all those mail bins on the left side over there, full of shit. You're welcome. I'd say you're easily the second or third best delivery person we've ever had. 
Good job. For your hard work, you can have this. You got delivery cap, huh? Cool. Wear it with pride. There's a special... Uh, such great highest achievement unlocked. Delivered all of Artichoke's mail. Okay. There's a special kind of tranquility. To a post office when the deliveries are done. Finally, we can rest. And pray nobody sends any more letters. Yeah, that's right. You got a family chicken? Never had time for one myself. But maybe today I'll finally go find one. I'm just kidding. Sheesh. I do miss my kids, though. Then go fucking hold and say it up! Not bombs! Oh. Well, I guess we're done delivering mail. What should we do now? Go to the top right. up here. Mm, yeah. If I didn't figure out how to unlock this area yet. I can do it now. I have to access it from the water. I could go up there, but I have to access it from that direction. I guess I found Berkey from the water side, didn't I? Hey, sup. I came to check out your cool colors. I like how you filled this place up. It's probably better than what I could do, so like... Yeah, pretty good. You should still put in a good word for me, though. To be the next wielder, I mean. Wink. Wink. He's like, I want to be the next wielder. But you were like totally dissing me and stuff, man. I saw your pen pal letters. I saw your pen pal letters. I have a section here not colored it. Mm, I'm only gonna get it up from this side. Huh? One thing, what might that be, huh? Actually shows you a color in it. Look at that. Yeah. Like uh, let's erase it. Yeah, the color disappearing. It's actually kind of cool. I 
hear a lost child around here. Somebody's house. Can't climb to the top though. It's like no. Oh, wait, what? I didn't expect that. Oh, that's for the I get. Okay. Interesting. Primary colors. Cool, cool, cool. Ash you. Well, it's that guy from before. Hi, I'm Dr. Cheese's assistant. We met before when I was collecting your paint samples. I help out around the lab sometimes, too. There's never a dull moment here. It's the cutting edge of color research. Dr. Cheese is really incredible. She was doing a groundbreaking research while still in school. I came up studying those papers. So it's a real privilege to work closely with her. Are you familiar much with Dr. Cheese's work? She was the one to theorize the existence of the primary colors. Red, green, and blue. That's what we have suspended here in the lab. Apparently, their combinations produce all other known colors. Isn't that fascinating? If that didn't blow your mind already, get ready. We found out that black is the absence of the three primaries. And white is the maximum of all three. So the default state of the world is simply at those extremes. That means when you use your brush, you're not adding color. You're actually pulling apart the fabric of color that's already there. Revealing the hidden grada gradations between black and white, or white and black. Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. You think Billy Sunday? What's what? What's, what's, what, what, what's that, obviously. Hmm. The current girl of Dr. Cheese's research is synthesizing that splitting of red, green, and blue. Your brush does. Some say she's toying with the natural order, playing God with dark forces. But you can't say it isn't exciting. We're adventuring into the unknowns of the universe. I thought Dr. Cheese would be a mouse person. Said she's a whatever the hell this is. Well, well, well. I was wondering when you'd find your way here. I'm Dr. Cheese, a scientist. I study all sorts of things. But I'm probably best known for my color theories. You can imagine, I've been quite excited to meet you. That brush of yours is a really special thing. But through our research, we found ways to replicate color. And potentially make new ones, too. Well, that's still just a theory. Still, we would love to collaborate with you. If our theory is correct, we could make a new brush or make a brush style. That lets you create your own colors. It's still just a prototype, but would you be interested in making your own colors? Sure. I thought you might. First, you'll need to design the colors you want. I'll let you tinker away. Um, randomize. Okay. Oh, I just do that and randomize. Wait. Oh, it randomizes both. Huh? Oh. Oh, okay, I see how it works now. I use RT, not A.
just drag it along if you want. There we go. Perfect, right? <laughs> oh, wait. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, we're going to process these colors into a brush style. The experiment was a success. You got a brush style. Cool. If you turn that brush style on, you'll be able to paint with your custom colors. Once it's on, you can combine it with other styles, too. We can update the colors here anytime. I'd encourage you to go test it anywhere you can. I never thought I'd see the day. We're one step closer to making a new color without a brush. This prototype alone pushed our research forward by years. Thank you very much. Oh, did you want to update your custom colors? Nah. Color really is a mysterious thing. I envy your ability to make it at will. It's taken me a lifetime of study to produce even a drop. But on the other hand, I love the mystery and the challenge. I hope we can solve all its mysteries someday. Nothing new anymore. You wouldn't find it interesting anyway? Well, it must be about tanks or something. That's right, that's right. Uh, what? Tanks? A robo! You got a robo, huh? You be a robot. That's about the only way it couldn't be interesting, bro. I'd be like, oh my gosh, this... what, do you, what do you mean the tanks in this game are historically inaccurate? Oh my god. Hey, Pyro, what's up? What's happening? How's it going? How you doing tonight? Another pro stream is sa yep, it's Saturday. It's time for another pro stream. That's right. Hmm. Must be too high up. Brunch Canyon. Time for the next challenge, I say. A lot of corruption around here. Hey, chicken. This is going to be a tough trial for me, I think. What's the matter? This was the last one I did. The theme is Master Passing On to Student. Um, and it didn't go so great for me. It was the last time I ever spoke to Blackberry. I hate to bring up my age-old drama, but I'm sure that's why this place got so messed up. We're gonna have to face it together. Follow this river up to its source. Oh my... trying to jump across. Just throw me in the water. You're no fun game. I can totally make that jump. Hee hee hee. So there's this here. Not that. Paint it black like rolling stones. I don't know. Are there any red doors around? Oh, I forgot to do that top corner. Is 
think I have to get to these two from above. Somehow. Somewhere. Oh, I meant to do that. Hmm, this is obviously how I get the trash. Oh. I'm gonna go over here. Ta da! Now I'm on this side. Must be a cool gift here. A little. Got a helm. Wow. And paint the water exactly where it connects the river. Yeah, you could even do a cool line thing. Can't even do that. Right, it's exactly right here, though? Uh, don't think so. Don't think so, though. It's around the right side up there, top. Hmm. I just missed those. I'm down here, I'm blocking these ones. Bring out the Rambo set. We got this. This one, same so. The only way to go is up. I see that trash. Hmm. It's definitely a pathway I can take. There's another back down there. Wait, did that change? Does that not stay white? Yeah, that just deletes. Oh! Those two, too. They just reset whatever you do. They just... They don't want to change, okay? Well, yeah, this one didn't reset, too. It reset, too. But some of them are just stubborn and just don't want to stick with the color, okay? They're just stubborn like that. Hmm. What exactly is this? Water? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Huh. Ringing. Got a mask, cool. Hmm. Can't jump out. This way, anyway. It's 
bring it. Let's go this way. These ones won't stay the same. Won't stay colored. Hmm, it's wherever that black pool is. Oh, I gotta figure out what goes where. Until the sour shop is a troubles. No, Dolby. Oh, I say yes. <laughs> Take that. We got horns. I don't see any litter or anything. Just a gift. Like, proper ways to just go up the water. Checking for Litor. See Litor or Treasure. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that sound? Just turning into a horror again. Oh, it's to get me to the other side of this river. said that almost a week ago. Yeah, you're really good at saying no. I eat right. <sighs> glop glop sounds of paint tickles your ear. You can actually turn those off if you want to. I saw it in the settings. Whether you wanted the wet sounds as they called it. If you played it and didn't like it, you can just, uh, Turn it off. There's nothing there. I'm not even sure why that's blocked. You can't climb that part of the wall. There's stuff up there, though. I want to go up here or do I want to go down the river? 
Ah, I want to go. Down here. Oh, this is the other side of that area I found ages ago. You got pointish glasses. Doesn't look very pointy to me, but okay. Call this the shortcut. Now oh, come on. So picky. Yeah, this is a shortcut down to uh what are you doing here? Hey. Your colors here aren't half bad. It seems so easy from the outside. But really, when you really look at it. There's just so many screens you're responsible for. Must be hard to put all your energy in each one. But, yeah, for what it's worth. I like this one. Thanks. Yeah, it takes a lot of energy. That's why I just, um... That's why I just, um... Oh yeah, this is the litter guy. I haven't been to Banquet Rainforest. Well, I've been to like, the beginning. But I haven't gone through it. Right, it's okay. You'd reply slowly as possible, too. Yeah, I always answer questions as slowly as possible. It makes it more exciting that way. See that trash. The end is just ahead, chicken. You'll have to face the corruption. One of those things only the brush can fight. Sorry. Just go on ahead when you're ready. Chicory! What exactly happened between you and Blackberry? Dut, dut, dut. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I'd looked up to Blackberry basically my whole life. Training with her was a dream come true. I'd say we even became friends. I was so desperate to please her. But that meant I had to be perfect. Any sign of weakness could have been the end of my dream to wield. So I hid myself from her. Always pretended to be fine. Even with no one else to talk to. And I basically got away with it. Until this trial. My very last one. Blackberry knew something was up. She just pretended not to. Until she actually had to relinquish the brush. Here. That's when everything came out. All her doubts about me. This was supposed to be a simple final step but she was suddenly threatening to take the brush back I felt so betrayed after everything after coming so close I got very heated or it, it got very heated I had a fight she tried to pull the brush out of my hands I fought back and then something grew here it was the first time I'd seen these black trees. We haven't spoken since then. I ran away with the brush. I was sure I could keep it all under control. Sure it would never happen again. Guess we all know how that went. So that's how all of this started. And how this stuff all grew here. It's all my fault. But it's not just you, Chikri. Things have come from me, too. It's the brush. Maybe the brush is what made it real, but... I wish I'd been stronger. I let all of this grow inside me. Seeing how corrupted it is here. It's like I'm surrounded by my own mistakes. It's not being fair to yourself. 
Blackberry should have been there for you. Nobody can be perfect. That shouldn't have come between you and being the wielder. I think Blackberry knew this could happen. If someone unstable wielded the brush, it reaches into you and makes all this stuff real, good or bad. Maybe it wasn't fair to me, but... Well, life wasn't fair to me. I can't function the way normal people do. And I just have to live with that. I probably shouldn't have been a wielder, ever. But you were a great wielder! Maybe if you'd had more support, this wouldn't have come from the brush. But Blackberry made that impossible for you. I wish someone had been there for you, Chicory. Oh. I wish things had been different, too. I wish I didn't need help. I wanted to do it all myself, like Blackberry did. But I let everyone down. Sorry, I'm... I'm not in a good place here. I know you're trying to help. And you're probably right. That it wasn't all just my fault. But I don't think I can do this right now. Just go on ahead. Uh, okay. I'm sorry all this happened to you, Chikori. I hope facing this helps a little bit. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't paint it yet. It's like the same fucking color. Trash! No more trash. Ruffle stare. Very exciting. That's goddamn rot, Mexican boys. Very exciting. This is a cool color game. How did we get here? Ophelia. What's up, Dobie? What's going on? What's, what, what's happening? Damn, this trial is definitely the shortest one of them all. I had that beach. Like, the, the dungeons aren't really very balanced. This was just this short little area. This was this whole little island. This was the, up here was this whole peak. I still didn't find that square. We'll see what's down here. This one's just like, boom, you're there. Basically like the bug place. Just like, boom, you're here. They didn't evenly balance all of the dungeons. Don't see anything down there anyway. You can't color this guy. You can only color around it. Well, we got another trippy boss fight to do. Won't that be exciting? No secret stuff. You forgot? Never mind. All right, let's go fight this cool boss. Got some eyeballs. Or maybe not. Interesting. to claw. Hmm. Powers! I'm gonna burn myself. Yeah. Oh, I see.
Hmm. Maybe there is a puzzle here. It doesn't disappear just because I'm, uh... Okay. You've never, literally never done this in the game until this point, so... How was I supposed to know to burn stuff? It's really the first time I've ever burned things. Burn it out! Burn it out! Burn! Wait, wait, wait. Burn! I think that's it. Suspicious. about what to do do a little hacking I'm gonna do that oh just for fun no reason Actually, a dungeon inside the tree as a first. You heard me talk about how this shit was so short, and it was like, oh, we'll just stick a dungeon inside here. Have it go back and see what that water led to. I can't set myself on fire. Oh, hit the water. 
Ha, ada rezeki. Most of them come back, except the ones that are blocking the pathway. Darn! Ah, this is just a dead end. Do that, something you can do would be better. Hmm. Do a big stretch. On that, now what? All right, I'll do another big stretch. <laughs> boss, yeah, that's the that's the boss down those stairs. And then when you do that, just uh, then you'll be like super flexible, and I done that. All right, all right, all right, all right. And yeah, ow, ow, unleash your inner hacker. The make it nine oh one. First, after you do that, what will you do with your life then? Uh -oh. I'm gonna go fight a boss, methinks. And you should be glad about the 901. It gives you purpose in life. It gives you something to do. Oh, I'm just kidding, by the way. My colors don't stick around here. <laughs> Time for a boss fight. Let's do it. We're gonna get to see the moment, huh? After all this time, all that training, I'm just not good enough for you? Jiggery, don't do this. I can't take this anymore. I hate you, Blackberry. I need you out of my life. I'll be a wielder. With or without your blessing. Damn. I'm some shit. I like the face on this tree. It's just like... Like, well, that's not what you were expecting. You weren't expecting some hack on one, huh? You're gonna fight Black Bear this time? He's gone. I made a huge mistake. I. I should never have. How did I push her so far away? How could I let this happen? I. I'm a monster! Uh oh.
know something better? Ooh. I don't really expect anything normal. I mean, it's profile. Yeah, it's kind of schizo guy. <gasps> this is that's how you just fight the your inner demons, okay? No, she never understood what it really takes. Why I have to be this way? It's not my fault. She's weak. Uh. -oh. It's not my fault. She should have listened to me. But then... Why do I feel so guilty? Did I make her like this? Why couldn't I just fix this? Uh-oh. I don't have to keep track of her moving, too. She just stays still for me all conveniently. I just wanted to help. I wanted to make her perfect. I wanted to be her friend. Aww. But she's gone. And I... I can't fix it. She's gone. He's gone. GG. Chapter 9 The Wielder Trials 4. Oh my. Chicken! Chicken, wake up! Oh, thank goodness. I caught you washing down the river. Thought for a second that... Well, I'm glad you're okay. If you were hurt because of me, I don't know what I... I'm okay, I'm okay! But, Cheekery... It wasn't you in there. It was Blackberry. She... I think she feels terrible about what happened. Well... She has a real way of showing it. But I guess that means... It really is from the brush. Not just me, not just you. If Blackberry's there too, it could mean... Every wielder through history is in there somewhere. Chicory, I think... You should talk to Blackberry. About what happened, she... If she has something to say to me, she can say it herself. Oh, shoot. This is the trial I never really finished, so... I nearly forgot about the ritual at the end. Ritual? The theme of the trial is Master Passing On to Student. You're supposed to earn the respect of your master. Me. And I'm supposed to formally accept you. Maybe with, like, a handshake or something? But did I earn your respect? Chicken. You... 
He did way more than earn my, my respect. So much of this happened because... I didn't have anyone to talk to or anywhere to turn. But you've been there for me. You've got a strength that I kind of admire. And I happily accept you as my successor. Oh. Ah! A hug too, huh? Great job, chicken. You just finished your third wielder trial. Only one left now. And then, before long, it'll be time to face that corruption on the tower. How are you feeling about that? A bit scared, to be honest. Understandable. I've been thinking a lot about what we should do when this is all over. But it's probably too soon to get into it. I'll be waiting for you at the last trial. See you. GG. Respect achievement unlocked. Shook Chikri's hand. Woo! I shook her hand. Oh my gosh. There's still all the corrupted trees here. We're done up here, I guess. The trees won't disappear until we deal with the source. Uh, so they say. I guess the last one's in the rainforest I haven't been to yet. Not really. I've walked through it. That's about it, though. Why aren't you colored in, plant? This is unacceptable. Boom. There you go. There's plenty you could do if you reach 901, such as... You don't know, you haven't thought that far ahead. Aha! Such as what eagerly awaits the next achievements. You wouldn't be doing playing that game. That's exactly why that's there. That's exactly why they did it. Oh yeah, I haven't been in this square yet. That's why they did it, and that's why they'll do it again. Once the amount of players is low enough again. Hmm, you look like a fox or something. I don't even know where to use the litter now. All the shops are open, right? What are those? Hmm. Funny seeing you here as well, chicken. Oh yeah, I did say he was going to go visit his friend in Brecky, didn't I? I was just here to see my old friend Gelato. We go so far back. You're the one who delivered my letter, aren't you? Thank you so much. It means the world to see my friend Basil again. How do you like my photo gallery? I took them all when I was younger. I used to be quite the adventurer, you know? Not so much these days. <laughs> but, if I'm being honest, they really lost something in the color wipe. My photos depicted Picnic as a lush, colorful place. Now they're all black and white. I don't want to remember Picnic that way. Please, if you're in any of these places, can you take a new photo for me? Preferably with lots of new color. I'd love to see what Picnic looks like now. When did I get so old? 
Life can crawl by so slowly. But when you look back, it's like it all happened at once. I'm grateful for the adventures I got to go on. Please, if you're in any of the places in my photos, I'd love to get a new photo, preferably with colors. Oh, that's Simmer, Simmer Springs or something. And save this photo to your camera album, sure. I like how there's the younger gelato in there. That one's near uh, the beginning of the area of the game. Oh, I know where that is. That's sappy. That looks pretty random. Well, I know where that is. Most of those are back over near the beginning area, honestly. Pancake. You ever pay much attention to the bugs? I love watching them. Like these butterflies. They float around so free and peaceful. You ever notice how they like to land on colored flowers? Nope, I gotta say I didn't notice that. Some days are really hard. Sometimes it feels like my mind is bouncing everywhere. And I just can't keep it together. But then when I watch bugs, it centers me again. It helps to focus on something real in front of me. Rather than all the anxiety in my brain. Picnic's full of lots of living things, big and small. It's important to pay attention and be aware of one another. That's how we can all coexist peacefully. Of course, the world's even bigger than Picnic, isn't it? Lots of people live in the Big Drink and beyond. I've heard there's even an underground bug province. I bet that would be amazing to see. Give him directions to the feast right now. Might not be that first picture, actually. Well, it might be. I just have new stuff. I think it might be. My this looks a bit like I'll tell you, uh, it looks totally different now actually but that's probably not there where is that though hmm, I don't know I know where I have an idea where that one is but I know where these two are What was that about? What was what about? Oh, the art class things in pop. A big zoom? Oh, for emphasis. Did it work? It wasn't this place. Did it feel emphasized? A little off trial again.
or I can find something to replace that game with, even if I have nothing in mind right now. <gasps> I knew it! Foam Stars! I'll play that one for forever, I'm sure. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this is in... Not quite here. Nope. Yeah, I'm too far up the river. Further down. And that can be done plenty. <sighs> Clearly it's time to start Raven Legends on your fifth account. Three's enough, man. Huh? I didn't wanna didn't wanna get out of here. I wanted to stay in the water. I'm at the bottom of the map. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's in the tea time area. Hello there. No colors there. Tops and how's it going? Take a deep breath. It'll all be okay. <laughs> Got about 12 more art classes to do, don't we? Join us for an art class? Grudgingly, yes. <clears throat> Take your places, everyone. For today's assignment, I want you to draw a portrait of a friend. It could be someone you really know and cherish, or you could make someone up. Just try to capture their unique character in a painting. Okay, we think, Chloe. What you think, Chloe? Watch this. It's the wrong color, though. Boom, there's Chloe. Little best car ever. I can't believe I can't. This is the largest size I can do. This will happen if you hold down RT. That doesn't work very well. Ah, I know. 
Let's see. Kawa. Didn't I already do a cat picture before? I think I've done like four Chloe pictures in this game. She's like. Why you keep drawing me? Like, cause she's adorable. <laughs> What's that? What's that weird cartoon? Okay, never seen it. Like, I mean, she's happy. She's like, I got all the catnip I could ever want. the sun, okay? Beating down the rays of light and vitamin D. Ta -da! Appa! See, it's a one-to-one -one rendition. Looks nothing like you. You just need some cute ears, right? Cute big ears. Alright, brushes down. Let's see how they look. That's what I call a friend. Oh gosh. I had no idea what to do for this one. I wish mine came out as good as yours. The image is centered nicely. It's nicely detailed. You made especially tasteful use of that orange color. I get a real sense of who this person is from the drawing. So, I'd say you nailed it. Okay. That's all for now. Your piece will be in Brecky, chicken. Keep practicing. I'm sure I have to do all these classes for an achievement. Want to take a class with us? I've been trying to space them out so I don't lose my marbles, though. Ahem. <clears throat> take your places, everyone. It does a personal one like that, and the next one's always a doing a painting someone had. Take a look at this old classic. Shovel Knight. <laughs> you leave pouting over there, Dolby. Letting Go by Fries. Let's try to recreate it. Um, that's us. That's the horn, and that's the broken horn, and Bob stuff, and there's like a sword and things. It's a mean looking sword and uh, stuff and things and it goes all the way down here and stuff. That's definitely a perspective and it's good. And then they're standing on the. They got their armor on and uh, they're ready to uh, grab this thing, uh, hold it, and uh, I think I did a zoomed in one. I think their legs aren't gonna fit. This is the grass and stuff. Wow. Terrible. That's right. There's some skulls in the background. And there's some skulls and the swish. I almost forgot they have legs. And uh, that's, that's, that's their eyes and stuff and things. And 
that uh, they look very happy to be here. Perfect, right? I hate it. Too bad. I think it looks very um artistic. Thanks. All right, brushes down. Let's see how we did. So gloomy. Yeah. But also kind of cool. You have truly captured the coolness of this piece. It's quite complex. Overall, light and dark are well balanced. I can't help but notice the splash of dark green. Okay. That's all. That's it for now. Your piece will be in the Eleven's Master Gallery, Chicken. Keep practicing. I'd love for you to join us in a class. <clears throat> Take your places, everyone. We had a friend who used to say that. It was funny. Ooh, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> well, that, 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 that was Hollow Knight. That was not Shrek, okay? That was Hollow Knight. For today's assignment, I want you to express anger. Oh no, one of these. I know it might be difficult for some of you. But we all feel negative emotions like anger. And art can be a safe and healthy way to express those. So express yourself. Channel your deepest inner anger and put that on the canvas. Yeah, we should do the Murloc for this one. Let's see. Let's look at this Murloc here. Pout. Oh, you don't want the Murloc? Are you sure? It looks pretty angry. All right, what should we do for anger? Ruffle rage instead? You're ruining it? Okay, okay, okay. Ruffle rage emo. Don't ask why her ears like that. Mad. Ah, what? I thought it was good. That's it. It's just a big pile of shit. Oh, I accidentally undid the uh, down. Awful. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to see you do better with these controls. Ugh. There's no red. How am I supposed to properly express, express my rage if there's no red? There isn't even any color combination. You just paint over stuff. Let's have camouflage face paint. Because she's coming to murder me. And I don't see her coming. Turn around and be like. Ah! Too late. Wait, too late. Oop. She's gonna murder me. it perfect this is true camouflage paste paint right here coming to get me all right brushes down let's see how they look 
Oof. Oh. Yeah. This one was easier for me than I thought. Turns out I had a lot to express. It looks like Chicken did too. The shapes are complex. There's a lot to think about. There's just a touch of light yellow green to round it out. There's a nice balance of light and dark. I struggled a lot on this one. I guess I'm not as in touch with my feelings. Nice job, Chicken. Okay. That's all for now. Your piece will be at Dessert Mountain, Chicken. Keep practicing. Care to join us for an art class? <clears throat> Take your places, everyone. Take a look at this old classic. Whoa. Time to absolutely butcher the shit out of this. I have to look at one more awful piece of art you're leaving. Um, I got some bad news for you. A breezy field by Vanilla. Do your best and try to recreate it. I got some bad news for you. I got some bad news for you. Got some bad news for you. Got some bad news for you. Uh, I hold it. Okay, remember, pretend this is that wheat field. This is the mountain in the background. Whee! Much detail. Very mountain. This is all that wheat and stuff. I hope you're ready for me to draw the lady. You're, you're not ready for that. Let's see. It's her dress. Blowing away and stuff. The hat. Ugh. There's a mountain of shadows on both sides. Oh, gosh. Details. This is the snow. Got snow on this side, shadows on this side. There we go. The perspective is all fucked, but. There we go. At least I don't have to draw eyes because I can't really see them. You can kind of see them in the OG, but yeah. So hot. Can insult the original artist? Definitely. Definitely. Hundred percent. And then there's some weird what at the fuck ever's up here. Going the fuck wherever. Hey, perfect, right? Amazing. And out of town. Looks good. What's soul? That's right.
Nobody finally understands. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's a total, you can't tell the difference between two. What's up, what's happening? Now it's gold 99 throw. And don't slap. Alright, brushes down. Let's see how we did. It feels mysterious, just like the original. I wonder what the artist was thinking about. There's a lot of intriguing detail. I like how you use just a touch of yellow-green. It's equally light and dark. This was a tough one for me. But you did great, chicken. How many liars? Okay. That's it. That's it for now. Your piece will be in the Elevenses Master Gallery, chicken. Keep practicing. Alright, that's, that's all I can take right now. There should be two more paintings, two more master paintings like that one left to do, and then uh, whatever else. So I should only have maybe four or five more classes. And I can only handle four or five at a time. I love what you've done with this place. I just had to come see. It's exciting that you're feeling picnic all, all out now. It's like getting to see all these places for the first time again. You're welcome. So what were the other two places I looked for? I did that place, that place. I don't know about that one though. I think that's at tea time wherever. Oh, that's a... Isn't that back above potluck? This one right here? Oh wait, one further up? Mm, nope. Over here? This one? No, but it's close. It's this one. I don't know about that one though. That one done. Okay. Oh, that one. Where's that? Though? That might be the Simmer Springs place, but it looks totally different, so I don't think so. Hmm. <gasps> Wait. I've seen this building somewhere before. Is it dinner? Might be, actually. Why is the dog painting? Because I have to repaint the world. The world in black and white it has to be repainted in color. That's why I'm painting. Only so much bad art you can take. <sighs> I can't believe this. Let's go over to the forest. Yeah, I go north. Oh yeah, it'd be better go north, go to dinners, go south then. Gotta be one of these screens around here. But it's one screen up. Yeah, I bet it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. Did I ever go check to see where this goes? I might go to the area, new, next area that I need to do. But I want to check the dinner building that I'm thinking of first. 
Now get out of here. Sinners is right over here. Up here. Is it the building at the very top I'm thinking of? Yes, right here. This is definitely it. Yeah, I'm a genius. That should be all the pictures. Let's go deliver them. Come back, you're lucky you have nothing else. Oh yeah, that's cause I'm a provocative. And I'm lucky Arma's offline. Right, where was uh, the other guy? Down here? He was here, wasn't he? Why did the ca controller vibrate for that? Brrr! Oh, this photo. It's one of the places in my gallery. Please, may I take it? Sure. That's why I took the pictures. Yes, thank you. I'm happy to see they finally built those pipe bike paths and dinners. Why? Need to compare them, huh? Oh, this photo. It's one of the places in my gallery. Please, may I take it? You can see where those rocks fell near Elevenses. I'm glad everyone was alright after that. Oh, this photo. One of the places in my gallery. Please, may I take it? Interesting how you, the colors look different when you're zoomed out. Basil and I used to love the view there. He always said he'd move there someday. Huh. <laughs> okay, look at that. It like looks different when it first put it up there. Like maybe the other ones were the default colors. But when you talk to them, the colors change in the background again. Interesting little glitch. Oh, this photo. One of the places in my gallery. Please, may I take it? Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just the colors or like look warped. I've always fancied the tea time meadows. It looks like it's gotten a bit overgrown since those days. Yeah, it's like it removes, uh, it turns uh, the saturation way up or something. Oh, this photo. It's one of the places in my gallery. Please, may I take it? I took the picture for you, so yeah. The art academy is beautiful as ever, but the ivy is much more fetching now that it's grown out. And that's my entire gallery filled. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'm so relieved to see Picnic refreshed again. There's nothing equivalent, but please take these. We got camera lenses. These lenses are a bit silly, but they take fun photos. They'll add new effect effects options to your camera menu. I haven't used them in ages. You'll get much more out of them than I am. Picnic's changed so much since I was young. Picture perfect achievement unlocked. Built in Gelato's photo gallery. Oh! But it's still a beautiful place. Thanks in no small part to you, no doubt. Thank you for keeping your region colorful. I was quite the enterprising photographer, but I never could have anticipated where camera technology would go. I hear these days they come on devices that also display maps. It boggles the mind. Ah, words can't capture my satisfaction. Staying here in sedentary, I get a bit wistful, wondering how the world is changing where I can't see. Thanks for bringing some of that world back to me. 
shop. Happy old man. Sentimental old man. I can't believe this. Mm, we can do these things, huh? Whoa! 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 Oh, those are for your pose, and that's for your facial expressions. Hmm. That's pro fun company, Tom. That's right. I don't need no working around here. That's be silly. It's time to check out this rainforest. Not from this direction, though. That's the one-way trip. Just went down the one way trip. Ah! I gotta go more left first. This site isn't going to affect it anymore, right? Well, I don't have the, uh... Where do I change my style? Up here, right? I don't have the fill-in. My paint shouldn't, uh, wash away in the rain anymore. I'm waterproof now. Figure out how to get to that. Interesting. Through a cave, obviously. We're at this tiny corner here. Been here before, apparently. Oh, all right, okay. now okay you go take like a 40 minute nap and then wake up and come back all righty no nope, because you won't wake up oh you think you'll actually stay asleep You'll actually stay asleep, huh? I'll be super impressed if you did. Yeah, still have to find another way. Hmm. 
Well, if you think really energetic awake thoughts, maybe that'll work. only goes forward. Hmm. Got bolt tea. Cool. trash or anything. Oh yeah, I didn't know how to deal with the screen. Got ski jacket. What? I've been down here before, but I was like, I have no idea how to get up there. Now I do. Express melancholy, huh? I see that. found a brush flower. Oh, cool. Hey, chicken. Doesn't the rain feel nice? The theme of this trial is honoring wielder history. You'll need to collect the unique brush flowers that grow here. Looks like you already got one here. Good. I found five flowers around the rainforest. But for the trial, you can just bring me four. Meet me ahead when you find them. Let's see. Thinking of something? You got some notes there to think of something? Good, 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 good.
Hmm. Can't go that way, huh? Hmm. I think I have to come from like up or around. I think I have to come from the, uh, side here. Unfortunately, nope. What's up, dude? Oh, hi! I've been on a wander singing your song. Come join Jam in the Tea Time Meadows if you want to make a new one. I really don't want to make a new one. Forgot to fill this with it. I go down here. Been here? Looks like it.
didn't mean to fall out that far down. Nope, didn't think so. Something about that work, so you're awake now. Good, good, good. I had to hear it. get there from the right side obviously but I do have to get up here somehow Oop. why can't I jump that I call that bullshit I call that some bullshit. That's some BS. Another one of the flowers. Got scientist. Why? Hmm. Those are for those, but why are those things there? Well, that's to help me get up there, actually. That's what it's for. How would I get up there to begin with? I can only go those two ways. have one that goes up. Oh. I'm glad you're awake now. That's fabulous to hear. Congrats on reaching, reaching awake status. This is for that big gift up here. I have to get to this purple. Well, I have to get up there for the brush flower anyway. They only go left and right though. This is a several screen trip.
Was it really? I mean, maybe. Maybe. Mub mub. Excuse me? Would you stop? Aren't they like the same height? Hey, little big baby. What? Are they not the same height? I guess they're not since the shadows are different sizes. that work? We found a brush flower! Why did that work? I don't fucking know. Now what do you do? Now you, um, uh, plan world domination. There's nothing else up there, was there? can't get up to there, I don't think. Oh, you can? Sneaky. do is go forward. Only one direction. This is interesting. Oh wait, I'm supposed to just go up. Excuse me? You piece of shit. Oh, there you go. Got shawl. Wait. 
Excuse me? Get out of here with that bullshit. Why are you being a little bitch? It's too low, obviously. It's that high. So it has to be double. Being a picky little bitch. That's not gonna take me up. You'll do that and build your lair within a snowy mountain. He will? That sounds pretty exciting. I can't do three though. I can only do two. It has to be two ups. Ah, what? Excuse me? I guess I have to pull it out first. You found a brush flower! Wow, amazing. So much brain power. I guess I'll never find you. You just told me it's Snowy Mountain. You already gave me the answer. Why do I have to collect flowers? Is that really gonna bond me with the brush? We'll use them for something later. I don't really want to spoil it. But we should do it proper. No rush. Come back when you found four brush flowers. Can't go that way. I mean, I see the fourth one right there. Nothing that makes me go up, though. They're both just way too up hot. Hey, why are you crying though? Oh, my fault you already gave away your big secret. This one only goes forward. There's no way I can reach that from here. Still way too high up. I'm kind of supposed to go from that to that. Colors are amazing! 
Picnic is looking better than ever now. Thanks. These things only go left and right. They don't go down. If I could think of, like, go down there from here, but these don't go down. These ones only go right and left. Now what? No cheating. No cheese balling, they say. I presume this one is at the same height as this one. So that's what it looks like. Hmm, they just ain't the flowers. Thing only goes over two. And these can only go one direction. Obviously can't reach that. Well, what down? I make you go down a screen so you have to reset the puzzle. It's a troll move from the devs. Oh, have you surrendered? I see what to do once I get to the purple, but getting to the purple is from. I need a plant that goes up, and there isn't one on the screen. I'm about to review your plans. Okay, you have fun reviewing your plans. Have you found four brush flowers yet? I think I'm ready to show you what's past here. But you gotta get those flowers first. Oh, bitch. There's a path down here, too. If you access it from the down below, somehow, some way, unlikely. This thing only goes up, right? Doesn't do anything other than go up. Strange. 
Is it dead end? Just that cave in there. Oh, chicken. How are the trials progressing? Da -da -da. Blackberry, I saw something in Brunch Canyon. Oh. I know about what happened between you and Chikori. And I know how horrible you feel about it. Chikori is still suffering because of it, too. I know it's not really my business, but... Did you ever think about just telling her you're sorry? I've thought about it. But that opportunity likely passed a long time ago. I know it was hard for her, under me. But life was going to be hard for her unless she toughened up. Someone had to prepare her. And in the end, it wasn't enough, was it? She crumbled so quickly. Under the weight of that brush. It didn't have to be that way. I'm not so sure. Well, in hindsight, I wish I wasn't. I wish that, at least, we could have stayed friends. When it came, came to it, I didn't decide to be her friend. I decided to be her teacher. And maybe I failed at that, too. But I did try. So you don't regret how you treated Chikori? At all? I regret that it hurt her. Maybe I chose the wrong successor. But I believed in her so much. She was so gifted. I was sure she could surpass me. All she needed was someone to push her. Someone to remind her she could be better. I know it's not easy. But I did it myself. And I thought I'd finally found in her. Someone who could do what I did. I know Chikri wanted to be like you so badly. But she wasn't you. Treating her like that was so unfair. If she had a problem, she should have said something sooner. I don't think you gave her that chance. You made her think she had to be perfect. And she tried so hard in silence. Is that what she told you? You should talk to her yourself. It's far too late for that. She despises me. And maybe she's right too. Maybe I don't deserve to be in her life again. It's not my place to decide anymore. Blackberry's like, it's not my place. Chikri's like, well, if she wanted to say sorry, she'd come say sorry. I guess I just wish that you and Chikri could talk about it and be friends again someday. It doesn't feel right for things to be left this way. I want to fix it. I wish it were so simple, but it's not your problem to fix. I want so badly to go back to the way things were, for Chikri to forgive me, but I have no right to ask for that. I can't change how I hurt her. Maybe someday we'll talk again, but maybe we won't. That's something I had to learn to accept, and you will too. I don't want to discuss this anymore with you. Please, go. I need to be alone. Leave me be. Man. That's why I'm going to sit here and not leave you alone. Why does your Chrome tab always freeze with you and only you? Because I am special. In case you hadn't noticed. I'm super pro. And have no fucking clue what to do with this puzzle.
Back in a moment or two. All right, all right, all right. Trying to see if I could jump on the tree. I don't think so. Hmm. Express melancholy, huh? I got some melancholy right now. I think I have to get this puzzle from the right. It means I have to get up there, basically behind me there. Requires getting to over there. Which requires jumping on these. Or maybe I'm doing it backwards. Oh, this one does go up, doesn't it? Wee hee 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 hee. I can't even jump straight one direction. 10 out of 10. Oh, I didn't want to go that way. I wanted to go up twice. Ah, okay. Now I'm getting somewhere. Good. You got a brush style. It's literally just a black square, but okay. This style changes the shape of your stroke. Ooh. See what I really need to go up for her. Hey, Peppy Mint. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? How you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. The fifth brush flower that I didn't have to find. Looking for any litter. Thank you. 
found a brush flower. You're well. Good, 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 good. I just jumped to that direction for some reason. Got Stormy! Whoa! Oh, I got a lightning thing above me. Rawr. I still prefer the cozy scarf though. Dumb dumb. Ah, can't even just jump straight down. I jump diagonally down. And obviously then I uh, you know, don't <laughs> get anywhere. And I'm straight, thank you. Found a brush flower. Wow, I found all of them. Officially good. Nice, you got all the brush flowers you need. I'll be taking those, okay? Meet me up ahead. There's something you need to see. Much of a baby to jump hole. Ah. Got big flower. Okay. How the heck am I supposed to get this without touching the thing? Woo! Very carefully. Ah! We got Dorky! I wonder if that one's the teacher one. Thank you. 
I found all the brush flowers. Hi, streamer. Hi, viewer. Welcome back. a shortcut. Thanks, you think? I see, I see. Beautiful, right? Though the story goes, at once, a long time ago, this huge tree spontaneously sprouted here. And that branch that's missing now, that was the brush. This is where it first came to be. And where someone became the first wielder. The brush flowers only grow from this tree. So, for this trial, we find the stray brush flowers that spread elsewhere, and replant them here. We got brush flowers! You can place those from the Your Decor menu. Plant them all on this screen here. And let me know when you're happy with where they are. Hickory! Who was the first wielder? Not much is recorded about them. Besides what's kept in the Wielder Temple. We know they were a massively creative person. And they changed the world in a major way. For them, nobody had seen color before. It's wild to think about. From the stories we have, it seems like the brush sprouted here just for them. Who knows? Maybe they were like... Some kind of alien or god or something. <laughs> Probably not. Hooray! How many wielders have there been? Hundreds. Not so exclusive, right? <laughs> After the first wielder died, the brush just patched too naturally from person to person. But it was way too sought after. Wars were fought over it. People died for it. We had to make rules for how and when it passed on. Rules that everyone agreed to. So it could pass peacefully. I guess that's how we wound up with all this. Wielder, apprentice, trial crap. Worked, though. People don't die over it these days. It's easy to forget how lucky we are. Chicory! Are your flowers here, too? Yep. Most flowers here were planted by former wielders. But I still remember which ones are mine. <laughs> I was, it was so exciting back then, starting out. I wanted to be the best wielder ever. But then, seeing this old tree and all the wielder's flowers, I think it started to dawn on me. The weight of all these artists whose legacy I carried. Wanting to be the best wasn't enough. It's that I had to be the best for all of them. It's a lot to carry. Hickory, I... If it's really so important to uphold this legacy, I don't know if I'm the right person to do that. Maybe I'd have been better off back then, if I hadn't confronted this. I hate this legacy. These expectations. They took so much from me. And it never mattered anyway. You really don't have to be anything. It can be great your own way, chicken. Don't let a stupid legacy control you. There we go, perfect. Right, right, right. 
crazy spiral pattern. This is a go. I got plants, my flowers. Aww. I only have four. I know I got five, though. The game's like, the extra one's for you to keep. Happy with where your flowers are planted? I'm ready to move on. Chapter 10. A brush, huh? Those brush flowers you planted. That's where they'll stay now. Forever. Oh, that's right. You found an extra flower, didn't you? You got brush flower! You can keep that one for yourself. Plant it here if you want. But you could put it somewhere else, too. Anyway. Da -da -da. This is it, chicken. You've completed all the wielder trials. Powered up your bond with the brush! You now have full control of the brush. All of your paint abilities are stronger. You can even swim up waterfalls. Oh, really? You're finally strong enough to face the corruption on top of the wielder tower. How do you feel? I I'm not sure. Dut, dut, dut. I'm proud of you, chicken. All of these corruptions should have been my problem alone. And facing them all made me want to give up. But you stood up to everything. I'm so glad you were here. I really don't deserve you. But I'll be there to cheer for you. When you're ready, come meet me in luncheon. Honored history achievement unlocked. Planted the brush flowers. Wow. Very exciting. So, since the, uh, these brush flowers are little brushes, right? Why can't we just have a bajillion brushes and have a bajillion wielders and everybody's happy? No. We can't just uh, have something for everybody here. Can't have them all be happy. Makes you think you see what? I see lots of cool gameplay. And you're crying tears of joy because it's such a beautiful moving moment, right? I think I didn't see you up there. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what was that direction. Just up here. Nothing here. Not even any trash. If I could jump up there. There's no. Apparently not. Is 
remaining question is this one corner one area here what to do I wanted to see what the cat got up to, huh? Did she get up to some cool cat things? Hunting. Okay, sorry, looking for something to murderize. That sounds like a cat, all right. Colors have changed. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out how to get here. Going to other gardens. Just looking for some tasty snacks. Ah, that's it. Looking for a tasty snack. Aren't you glad you're not a mouse right now? Got a brush style. That's supposed to look like a portal or something? This style changes the shape of your stroke. Cool. Hmm? Style Pro. Discover all brush styles. Woo! I'm a style pro. I've got like three squares that haven't been figured out yet. One of them is totally because I couldn't go up the waterfall, though. 
Now I can go up waterfalls if I want. Now that I can go up waterfalls, I might be able to get these other ones. It is about snacky break time, though. You're pretty ominous, all right. Get all that extra stuff. Fancy set? We're definitely doing that. Well, we can't... Never mind. Hello again! I've been on a wander singing your song. I'd make a new one sometime at Team at Time Metals. I was gonna say, we can't take a snacky break with that creepy music, but we can't take a snacky break with that guy singing that. Oh, what? You're gonna have to deal with this music. Got a mysterious ad adventuresome sounding. There's only one treat for you. Oh, what might that be, huh? Who might that be, huh? Prof Pog, I see, I see. These cool streams. There. Very. Cool! You asked for that. You walked right into that one. You walked right into that one. Don't do it. Too late. You walked right into that one. <laughs> you knew what you were doing. I'm gonna take my snackle break. You're gonna enjoy all uh, the nice music and uh, the, the bugs flying around here and um, become one with nature in these woods here. You'll be a full hermit by the time I get back. ERB! Let's go finish this story or maybe we should finish the map first. What should we do? There's two other squares. Kind of tempted to go figure out how to do. I'm pretty sure it's the waterfall. You don't know, man. Oh yeah, I've got all your kids on it. Maybe achievement for all children. Hey, check it. Pepper and I moved more stuff out to make room. If you want some, it's yours. Go ahead, pick a furniture set and take it with you. It's too much crap for me to deal with myself. I'll take the fancy one. Did you want to take that fancy set? Yeah. You got a fancy set. Hang on, hang on. I just did a recount and turns out... Chickens found every last lost kid. Whoa, no kidding? Chicken, thank you so much for your hard work. Thanks to you, all these kids are safe and happy. And I got to meet beans, too. Aw, oh, jeez. I don't think we can thank you enough, but... Why don't you take the rest of this decor? You got toy set. You got sweet set. Thank you. Thanks for all your help. so cute. I'm pet them all. Two spurned mom. Oh, that was kind of delayed. Lost and found achievement unlocked. Find all lost kids. I was thinking there wasn't an achievement for that. Is that pop chip? It was just kind of taking its time. It was a PS3 trophy. You're tired, huh? I know, right? It's really exciting. I'm just watching some cool video gameplay. Two spurned moms who found each other. It's not the romance I dreamed of. The beans makes it feel right. I'm forever grateful I found her. Oh.
They're adorable. I'm going to try to go over there. Ooh. Look, wrong way. Wrong button. Show us more exciting things, I guess. Oh, for example. Let's go up this waterfall. Yep. We found one of the squares we were missing. Got royal. Hmm. The other one's up here. Oh, it's another waterfall. Had that. <clears throat> Hey, sup. I came to check out your cool colors. I like how you filled this place up. Watch how I can change the box position. Oh. What do you think about that, huh? It's probably better than what I could do, so like... Yeah, pretty good. You should still put in a good word for me, though. To be the next wielder, I mean. Wink. Hmm. Where should we go? Where was that guy who told me how much litter I had left? Or gifts for that matter. The gifts one was Sip's house, I think. The Sip's place with the um, badger lady or whatever. I keep forgetting where the litter guy was. It was that lizard looking dude, but where was he? Oh, who the hell are you? A dib. All the colors kind of suck. For water. Everything makes it look like dirty water. Diabolically evil water. My secret springs. This is the best spot in all picnic, no doubt. The springs are hot and nobody comes here. Until you. But we can share. The joy of hot water with cold, snowy air. You don't get this kind of goodness in dra drafts. Drafts? I've never met someone from the ocean province. Well, hey, nice to meet ya. Can't say I may meet too many surfies up this way either. You must be quite the explorer. You swam here all the way from the big drink? It's worth it. Nice to get away from it all, you know? The trip back down is real fun, too. Tell your surfy friends you gotta mean a real dolphin. Just don't mention this spot to them. It can be our little secret, right? <laughs> I think they are the first uh, fish-type animal I've seen, actually. Something else is a bird or a mammal. Ah. Got 
gorgeous, huh? Well, I think we've explored everywhere else on the map. Where was that guy who told me... Oh. Just conveniently right there, isn't it? Actually, wait. Isn't that that house uh, with, like, this stuff? No, the city hall is straight up on the map the whole time. It's the cameras where places I've taken pictures. There's always more exciting things to guess, but you haven't thought that far ahead yet. Prophilia! What's up? What's going on? Never mind. Man. Should that end? No, oh, wrong button. Damn it. Get the color you in before you disappear. Here by blue. All the colors to leave, man. That's you, the wielder. You, you're really doing it? You're going in there? I don't even know what to say. I can't believe I got to meet someone so brave. You're such a cool wielder. I want to be brave like you someday. Wow, wow. It's got so scary here. I can't believe you're really going to in to fight it. You're very brave, chicken. I was never such a good wielder. <laughs> Hope it goes okay. Chicken. I know Chikori's trained you all she can, so... I'm placing my trust in the two of you. Please, annihilate this corruption. We're all counting on you. Oh, it's you! I was just going about my regular adult travels, but why is this place so creepy? Everyone says you're going to stop it. Well, good luck. I'm gonna get the heck out of here myself. Momo, huh? Hello again. Where it is you're going to fight the corruption here. I just wanted to come by and show my support. You're not like the other wielders. It was a small thing. But you did a lot for me when you delivered that letter. Things really turned around for me. I can tell you care about helping people. So, thanks for all you've done. And all you're doing. It means a lot, at least to me. I'm rooting for you! You're my hero, chicken! Marching up to fight a giant corruption! It's so dreamy! You literally couldn't be any cooler. <sighs> I don't. I didn't know being the wielder could be so scary. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I just really like drawing. I hope you don't mess up and cause us all to die. 
Or anything like that. Jeez, fucking thank you. No pressure, damn. It's you, the one who loves music. They say you're on you're fighting on our behalf. What an inspiration. I'm just a bard. But I figured I could at least rouse you with a song. Feeling roused yet? No. Chicken, thank goodness you're here. Is it true that you're going to face the corruption? Oh, I hope you can fix it. I, I, I can't function like this anymore. To be honest, when I heard you were coming, I, I thought I'd bake something for you. But while I was taking it from the oven, I spotted a new tree limb growing straight into my kitchen. I screamed. And then I dropped everything on the floor. I'm so sorry. I'm so grateful to have a wielder who will help us. Thank you so much, chicken. And, uh, don't die. No pressure. Dang, it's even scarier up close. You're a pretty incredible person to come fight this. On behalf of me and all the kids. Thanks for doing what you are. Knowing someone's dealing with this makes it not so scary. Dang, it got mad spooky up in here. And you're gonna go fight it? Whoa. You are cooler than I gave you credit for. Remember all the people who supported you along the way. Like your old buddy Pickle, eh? We're rooting for you. My mystery pen pal mentioned luncheon got extra spooky. So I wanted to come see. Pretty sure they live in luncheon too. But I didn't tell them I'd be here. Mystery pen pals should be a mystery, right? Anyway, this is wild. Everything you wielders do is cool and crazy. I hope you fix all of this or whatever. Pen pals are like literally right here. Wow, these trees really went out of control. And I thought the swamp was rough. See, and this makes me want to go take a nap. Well, be careful. Hope you're okay. Thanks for doing this. Are you sure you'll be okay in there? You don't have to do this. Oh, what am I saying? I guess you do have to. I'm sorry, chicken. Can't imagine how I'd feel if it was my own kid going up there. Make sure you talk to your mom, okay? She's got to be worried sick. Beans and I have your back no matter what. We kind of owe you everything to you. Crazy to think about, but it's true. Come back safe. Oh. Hmm. See if we can find his outfit yet. Dinosaur's obviously the head, but I couldn't figure out what professor was. Maybe it's the one that's called Dorky, is what I was thinking that I got to earlier. What is it? Whoa! I'm really feeling your style. You've captured the moment with it. For that, here's something cool. We got Superstar! We got Superstar shades. That's my final pair of shades. I have to thank you. Your fashion is so sublime. It's like you dress in the dreams of the universe itself. Thanks for sharing that with me. Now, you should forge your own outfits and fashion dreams. I'll always look to you for the next choice look. Peace and beauty to you, chicken. Cool. Did we get an achievement for it? Maybe it'll pop up in a second. See. Maybe not.
chicken. A lot of folks are coming by luncheon to cheer for you. Isn't that sweet? I'm on team chicken too. Do your best out there. Oh wow, that was super delayed. Fashion for fashion achievement unlocked. Solve all oats outfit riddles. That was like two minutes later, wasn't it? I think they're even worse than PS3. Bro, please. They had all delayed and shit. <laughs> Almost there, big ears. Are we? Seems so. What a heroic moment, chicken. You'll surely go down in history for this. I'm honored to be here to witness it. Perhaps I'll capture it in a painting later. May you prevail against this corruption. Well, this is quite unheard of. These growths are more progressed than anything in wielder literature. In other words, you've messed up pretty bad, hmm? <laughs> well, best of luck. Like it or not, we're all counting on you. And personally, I think you've got what it takes to turn this around. Hey. Good luck up there. It must not be easy to do this for us. You're a genuine one, chicken. Don't drop the ball on us now. Oi. This black stuff's growing all over luncheon. But we ain't gonna take it sitting down. Let's show them our fighting spirit. Or, I guess, mostly you show them our fighting spirit. And, uh, we'll just wait here. Yeah. You can do it, chicken. This situation looks grim. Grimmer than anything in recorded his recorded wielder history, really. But you're a great wielder. I think you can handle it. We're counting on you. No pressure at all. Ooh, it's my family members. Chicken, oh my gosh. Since when did luncheon get so creepy? Mom said you're going in to fight the corruption. I don't even know what that means. But I'm scared for you. I hope you'll be all right. Come back in one piece, okay? Oh. A hug. So cute. Love you. Sorry if I'm making you nervous. I'll try not to be such a downer. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. You're chicken, after all. Go do what you gotta. Chicken. Da -da -da. You got this. A bunch of creepy trees ain't got nothing on you. Okay? I'm proud of you. I ain't good at the sappy stuff like Mom is. But I really, really mean it. After this is all over, I'll bring you all the holies you want. Ha <laughs> ha. Chicken, we heard about what you were doing and... Well, we had to be here for you. Are you nervous? I sure am. But we're rooting for you, sweetie. I know you can do it. You're an incredible kid. I never thought you'd be doing something so heroic. But that's why I'm so proud of you, chicken. You've grown into such a responsible and capable person. I should have thought... I should have known. I won't doubt you again. As far as I'm concerned, you can do anything. I love you, chicken. You can do it. Oh, hi. You set up this furniture, right? It's really great. I'm a bit of a wanderer. I love seeing new places. But even better is when there's a cozy place to rest there, like this. I'd say you found the perfect spot for this flower camp chair. Thanks. You just chilling? Hello. I thought I'd come for a little visit. I feel right at home with this germ rug. All right. Howdy! Nice to see you again. I feel right at home with this basic bed. This dude is just fucking living in my house. This fungal lab. You're just gonna name all the items. You're just gonna live in my house and name all the things. Hi. Hiya. I wanted to see how your house was decorated. I'd say you found the perfect spot for this family portrait.
This fungus table really tiles the whole scene together. Yeah, okay. I'm waiting for him to repeat. This pedal's still away for him to repeat the decorations. Sunflower, Kolak. Okay, don't have very many more things to name. Fungus table. You got like a umbrella and the painting left. Flower cap chair. That's okay. That's repeat. This guy's just living in my house. Oh, things just get worse and worse, don't they? The town is taken with such an awful ambiance. This is a wielder responsibility, isn't it? Chicken. I'm so sorry. You have my well wishes fighting this. Let's get some cereal. Might wake you up a bit. Yeah! Be sure to be extra slow so you miss the final boss fight. Dang! Lunch is messed up. Or, or what? Or what? Is everything okay, chicken? It's hard not to be worried with things looking like this. Are you really taking on the corruption? Please be careful. Wreck it! That's pretty much everybody in luncheon, isn't it? Oh. Found all the childrons. Yeah, that's like everybody. I don't think there's anybody left to talk to. The end is just ahead. All those trials, all our preparation, it's all come down to this. So, you feel ready? So ready! Bring it on, giant scary corruption! Well, before you go, we've got to talk about what's going to happen after. I've been giving it a lot of thought, and I think we should destroy the brush. The brush connects with the worst parts of us and makes them real. It lets us make beautiful things, but it's also carrying the darkness of every past wielder. And at this point, it's a threat to everyone in Picnic. That thing is evil, and destroying it is the right thing to do. What do you think? Won't the world lose color? Eventually, yeah. Everything would go black and white again. And there'd be no way to fill it back. I'm not stoked about that either. But if we keep it around, people will get really hurt because of it. We have to decide if that's worth the risk. Would it be so bad to stay black and white? If it meant everyone was safe? What do you think? But it's been around for so long! Who cares how long it's been around? That doesn't make it any less evil. It just means we've been more trained to accept it. Without questioning why. Screw that. That's not a way to make decisions. If it's hurting us, we should question why it's here. What do you think? This fight could fix it. Every single wielder has fought corruptions. But it still has our imprints in it. If fighting back actually fixed it, then we wouldn't be in this situation. Maybe the problem will seem to go away for a bit. But then it'll come right back. We'll come back. Why well, add right? Hello. Oh, Probably even worse. That's why I wanted to bring this up now. It tricks us. Into thinking everything's okay. But it's the root of all the corruptions. And I bet the only way to get rid of them is to annihilate the source. And it's not just that. After everything the brush has done to me, I want it gone. 
What do you think? I mean, we should probably destroy it. Do I, do I get the option to, uh, like, you know, uh, stop before the final boss or something? Can you clean up whatever? Probably. I should totally destroy it. <laughs> you expecting me to say no again? After all those arguments, she was like, uh, you're just gonna say no again. I almost didn't expect you to agree. If we are really are doing it, well, it's scary to think about. Can it be destroyed? Guess we'll figure that out together. We've still got a battle to get through. Good luck, chicken. Actually, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Oh, what is it? Um, never mind. I'll ask you afterward. I should focus on the battle for now. No! <laughs> That's too frustrating. Chicken, that means you better come back. I mean, I know you will. You've got this. Everyone came to luncheon to cheer for you. I promise I'll make you proud! But seriously, you're gonna leave me hanging like that? What were you gonna ask? S sorry, it's just not a good time. Hmm... Well, you better not forget what it was. I won't. I'll do my best up there. Thanks for all your help, Chikori. Sure. Okay, good luck, chicken. I taught you everything I could. And you've come so far. We're so close to the end now. Just one last push. I see. Whoa, what's the zoomed in? Whoa. Looking adorable. Oh, it opened the door. that map Here we go uh oh the colors won't work oh, I don't have any colors at all just gray uh, colors don't work huh what cartographer achievement unlocked Reveal 100% of the map. Ugh. I guess I did. Boss fight! Let's go! Let's go! Hmm. Left, right, up, down. Um... Hello? I just lost forever. Why is it so big in here? I wasn't so nervous. Everyone's counting on me. Especially Chikori. We need to rise up to this. But... Whoa. Confidence issues? Walking slower now. Super slow. Why? 
Am I still so nervous talking to Chikori? I should have said something. But I guess... I'm most worried about letting her down. She needs me to be ready for this. And I know the trials were supposed to make me a real wielder. But even after everything, I don't feel different at all. Maybe it's because... You're not. You're not real. No, I'm not. But it's still true. I, I've been afraid to ask her. But I need to know. Why did Chikri choose me to be the wielder? Did she really think, at the time, it was a good idea? You're asking her shadow? You already know the answer, don't you? She didn't. I... I know she really didn't. Everything happened by accident. I just got the brush because I happened to be there. Part of me still hoped that... I really was special. And I just hadn't figured out how yet. But Chicken, you are special. I know that's what she'd really say. But it feels just as real coming from you. Hi! Uh-oh. I thought all I ever wanted was for her to believe in me. But even if she does, I still feel like a nobody. It's because no there's nothing you can do, or anyone can say, to change what you really are. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Chomp. You don't deserve this brush. Never have, never will. Don't you think it's time? You gave it back. Uh-oh. Oh, you're awake. Chicken, are you okay? Um, we aren't sure what happened. We found you outside the tower, passed out. You must have been through so much. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Can you walk? Hey, kiddo. Uh, sorry about whatever happened. We all mess up sometimes, you know? It's okay, though. Promise. Your ma and I still love you, no matter what. Believe me, your old man screwed up plenty of times. More times than I can remember. <laughs> That's just part of life, right? It's no big deal. Oh, another hug. Hug! Hey, buddy. Hey, Clementine. Are you gonna be okay? I don't know. What is that? I'm so sorry, chicken. Maybe it was all too much. What is that? It's totally up to you what you want to do. Okay? If you want to stop now, and let everyone else figure out what happens next, that's okay. You already gave so much. I love you, chicken. It's going to be okay. I'm just glad you're still here. Oh, good. I'm so glad you can at least move. Chicken, we were all so worried for you. Um, and... Well, we don't know where the brush is. Do you? I think that's worrying everyone quite a bit, too. It, it's... That is it. It's okay, sweetie. You don't need to say right now if you don't want to. Take your time and rest here. But when you're ready, maybe you should go back to luncheon. Everyone is looking for the brush there, including Chikori. It might be good to speak with her. Thanks. It's okay, chicken. Whatever happened, I know you did your best. 
We all know that. We've really been asking so much of you. Too much. Too much. I love you, chicken. No matter what. Okay? You don't have to talk to me now. But when you're ready, you can. Maybe some fresh air will be nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've got such a slow walker now. Chicken, I heard things didn't go so go well. I'm so sorry to hear. We've cancelled our classes for the time being. You have my best wishes. Dang it, I wanted to take an art class. Who the hell is everybody? There's nobody else around. The music's all too poof. I guess I gotta go walk by it. Damn, there really is nobody around. Everybody in luncheon. Except the art teacher. You got your job, huh? Hey, uh, is something going on? It got really quiet all of a sudden. Usually it's crowded around this time. Um, you know what? Don't even tell me. I'll just stay inside here. And pretend like nothing's wrong. La la la. Hmm. I'm curious if clothing swap guy says anything. I must know. Curiosity getting the better of me. Hey, you sad or something? You look real sad. You know what always helps me when I'm sad? Swapping clothes! Who cares if it's the apocalypse outside? Caramel here would love to run out there. And fetch you the hottest digs to fix that mood. Right, Caramel? Uh, sure. Want to swap a piece of clothing? No thanks. Well, he's unfazed, really. Yep, everybody's gone. Oh, I don't have the thing to get past these. Do I have any way to get back here normally? Do I have to take transit? Ooh, that's a... Trees as well. Hmm. Might have to do transit. If I can. Oh, hi. Oh, chicken. I thought I might find you here. Everyone's looking for the brush, but... Well, I was just getting in the way. So I came to check on you instead. You don't have a way back to luncheon, do you? I can help. Meet me one screen left and two down from here. 
You made it. Well, here goes. Use uh, an amphibian to. Uh, I'm actually a fairly adept swimmer. I can take you across the river here. If you want. Okay, hang on. Just like, meh. 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 Uh, <sighs> you can head up from here to get to luncheon. I I hope I was helpful. Y usually I just feel like an annoyance. But I really appreciate what you've done, chicken. I think everyone does. We all know you did your best. Uh, everyone was just hoping you'd come back all right. Well, I'll be here. Uh, I know it's never been easy for you, but the fact that you keep trying anyway, it inspires me. I want to learn to do that too. Oh. I came out here looking for the brush. Although, to be honest, it was pretty sh I was pretty sure it, it wasn't actually here. I just wanted to get out of luncheon. It's real hecked up in there. Are you going back in? Wowza, you do you, I guess. Uh, hey. Are you doing alright? You don't look so good. Well, nothing looks good right about now. Kind of feels like we all might all die. Lol. Um, but... Sorry about whatever happened. We're all just doing our best, you know? I hope things get better. I genuinely do. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I can't find the brush anywhere. There's such a strange lingering feeling. Like, something fundamental is broken. It's hard to describe. Well, you must be worried enough as it is. We're here for you, chicken. Oi. I've been cutting down all the little trees around here. Usually Beans takes care of the stuff like that, but... She's been busy lately with kid problems. Nice to finally get around lunch and easier, though, ain't it? We're all trying to do our part to help right now. Well, that's true, there used to be trees there. Are you doing okay, chicken? Nobody's really sure what happened yet. We're all trying to... We're all just trying to figure it out together. Don't push it. Chicken, we've been looking everywhere for ya. Glad you're okay. At least kinda. I tried to explain to the kids what was going on. I'm not sure they all understood. But they're all rooting for you too. Chicken, are you alright? Everyone's been worried sick about you. Be careful, okay? You don't have to do anything crazy for us. How you doing, kiddos? Petting cats makes you feel better, man. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can pet the skunk. I don't think I can. And cut the trees down here, too. Or were there- no wait, there were never trees there, were there? It was just this side. I think? Well, maybe there were trees there. Oh, it's such a relief to see you. Chicory is just ahead from here. She's been beside herself with worry. Everything is in ruins now. But you'll fix it, right? Ah, 
I'm sorry, chicken. I just don't know what to do. But I suppose you don't either. I know I can be a little much sometimes. I'm sorry. There you are. After you went in there. We found you unconscious outside. No brush in sight. You really spooked us. Especially Chikori. We didn't know when you'd wake up. Or if you would. Your folks must have been so relieved. There's a note. We're closed. What are you doing here anyway? Stay safe. Close. Bye, all the see you, Shikari. I'm not trying to check all the rest of the screens first. I'm pretty empty around here. That turtle guy still living in my house, though. Nope, he's moved out. He seems to have moved out of the house. Yeah, I'll be back in a second, Chinker. We gotta check up at Pickle's house. Probably nobody there since Pickle's down here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh. Oh god. I'm so sorry, Chicory. I messed everything up. A brush, it's gone. There's no way to fix this anymore. It's okay. I mean, no, it's not. But I'm glad you're okay at least. Can I ask you something? Back when you first gave me the brush, did you really think it was a good idea? Did you really choose me? No. I just wanted to be free of it. The pressure, I mean. But also, the whole institution. Having to choose. Having to answer to the legacy of old dead artists. Having to do or be anything. I needed to knock all that stuff down for myself. You resented that legacy. Did you choose me because I was a bad choice? Is that all I mean to you? When I said you could take the brush, you were already holding it. You had already taken it and colored and faced a corruption and made it back. You were a living example that you don't have to be chosen to be capable. You showed me a possibility I hadn't considered. And you've only come farther since then. You shouldn't need to hear why you deserved it. You already proved it yourself a million times. But maybe you're missing the most important thing. What's that? Actually wanting it. <gasps> you want to sleep, Woo Up? You have a good sleep, Woo Up. Eight hours, okay? Hold it. Carry yourself. I know you wanted to do it for me, but... Was it something you wanted for yourself? I never even asked. Just forced it onto you. So I'm asking now. Did you want the brush? I did. I... I really, really did. I've always wanted to make a mark on the world. I wanted to be someone great like that. But I never felt like I was ready. You were the first person to ever give me the chance. And I... 
I let it slip through my fingers. I feel so horrible. But I wanted it. Now that it's gone, it's like a part of me is missing. I can almost feel it. Like it's still there, right? I remember that. After being so connected to it. Like I couldn't get rid of it completely. No, it... It really feels like it's still there. Like I could just... Try drawing. Just one more time. Oh, really? Try drawing. Just what? We're oh, fine. Well, uh, uh. What are the buttons? That's RT. But I have to do a direction as well. Ah! We're growing a tree. A brush tree. Mm. We're slowly growing a brush tree. I have to hold it, apparently. It's all over. Is it over, Dolby? Did you have a good time, though? I like how Chikri seriously hasn't noticed it yet. Made a brand new brush. What the heck? How did you? That's possible. I remembered how it felt, and I guess that brought it back. But that's not the same brush. That's your brush. Maybe for the first wielder, it was kind of the same. I... I knew what I wanted and how it felt. Like a muscle I'd never known to use before. But once I did, it was there. That's incredible! Does this mean... I could try again? I can face that corruption one more time. I can still make everything right! I can do it! Chicken. Yeah, you can do it. Go and show him. Well, that's a, a sudden, something new achievement unlocked. Grew a brush. Wow! Good time. Yeah, did you have a good time with the with whatever you're talking about that's all over? You, you finished something cool, right? Right, right. I can't believe it's real. Just like the one in the rainforest. I never even considered you could make another. When did you get so? I thought I was supposed to be the teacher. <laughs> I'd feel so left behind. When things got hard for me, I just gave up. But you picked back up and kept going. I should be the one looking up to you, chicken. I don't know if that's really fair to you. But you definitely shouldn't look up to me. I still don't really know what I'm doing. After everything we've been through. Have I left the impression that I do either? If someone thinks they know what they're doing, you should honestly probably avoid them. <laughs> when I trained to be a wielder, all I was told and all I thought about was that what wasn't, was what wasn't allowed or possible. But you don't fit the wielder model at all. You're someone who's changing all the rules as you go. And I think it's about time they change, too. You got this. If that huge corruption took the brush, 
then I bet it's still in there. If I knew we were pl it knew we were planning to destroy it, so it pro it's probably hiding, consolidating its power. But it might not be ready to fight another brush. That's the only shot we've got now. We've already done a million things nobody thought possible, so I think you can do it. Good luck, chicken. There's a note on the bench. It says, Due to seemingly apocalyptic circumstances, we have had to temporarily halt transit services. We hope to have renewed service soon. We apologize for the inconvenience. The picnic transit team. That's funny. Wait. There's a bunch of trees here now. All blocked off here. Where'd everybody go? What the heck? You made a brand new brush? That's wild. That's super wild and cool. I'm so jelly. Do you think I could make one too? Haha. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna go. Here I go. I'm gonna try to do it right now. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'll get it next time. Is he living in my house again? Nope. Well, I guess we gotta go fi fight this final boss now. Hmm? Let's get up there. This ain't the right re area. Hey, minute. Why am I here now? Who'd they replace that? I wonder if they just adjusted the pictures. Not that I'd be able to tell if someone was replaced or not. I see some of these self-portraits are just as good at drawing as me. Uh, I especially like the stick figure mouse. And now it's done. Let's get back up there. Make this guy our bitch again. We got this time. Oh. Interesting. This looks like my house. And Chicory's house. This house is this. Blackberry? Is it over? No. We're gonna go end it though. Well, this is Cardamom's house. He's going through previous wilders. Eyeballs! It wants to live, man. It's a bird, huh? Brush wants, wants to leave. Oh, not a bird. Oh, what is it? Uh,
B-I-R-D. Bird. It's a bird. What? Oh, I hit by that. Ow. Oops. Oh, let myself get hit again. Oh, the six year old girl's word for it, but I'm because she can't say it right yet. <gasps> they don't like burb. It's a bird, huh? A bird da. Ah. Back here. I'll try it into it. Hmm. I thought I was good personally. I was like, nope, you're not good. You missed. It's myself. Ah, what's up? <gasps> Gonna hit me with a uh, Chloe attack? I'm fighting Chloe now. Could you do this to me, Chloe? Me with all the brush styles that the brush learned. That's what it was. I got the custom Chloe shirt on too. I don't know if I can do anything. If we're just waiting. You get through all your brush styles. Oh, I have to hit you with that one? Oops, I wasn't paying attention to the stamp. I was trying to see if I could hit you with the white. Ah, okay. I have to hit you with the white, not the green. Whoa! It's kind of hard to do that. Still hitting you with the. I don't know if I'll we'll still hit you with the reverse or not. Huh. That's it. Oh, all right. before.
I'm not doing any opposite anymore. Get her moving around like that. She's supposed to be not not seemingly not doing any damage. Ah! Uh. -uh. I can't! Oh. And she creeps up to get her own with her own brush. Or she got a broom. Chicken! I owe you a pretty big thank you. Because after seeing you make one of these, I realized I could too. Turns out there's a lot I can do that I didn't think possible. I'm tired of feeling afraid and useless. I'm here for you this time. Let's take this thing down together. Let's do it. Teamwork! gonna attack or oh come on how a set of bleed forever I said bird do I have to order you to do something or something how's this working you keep you keep painting at the wrong time Teabait here for me, huh? There we go. Ah, that one missed. Wait, does that have to be me this time? Nah, I'm, I'm not hitting that. Oh, wait. You got her! This is final fight's just a combination of all the fights. Except you got a teammate this time. Oh, shit. Longer than your guild grind? That's because all those uh, estimated times are the people who used a fucking god. Playing dodgeball right now. Well, I'll wait for her to actually get her. There we go. I'm through all the past wielders. What? What's it doing? I think it's reverting all the way back to its original form. It's gonna come at us. With every wielder through all of history. 
No big deal, right? <laughs> if you believe in me, Chicory. Well, even if you don't. I think we can do it! We're back to first form. Now you're on fire, though. I gotta count on my teammate actually catching this guy. Good luck with that. Good thing you can't die. I've gotten hit like 1,200 times. My teammate could catch him any time now, you know. He just uh, swings that brush wherever. Got it. Third time's the charm. Ooh. Odd color. <gasps> it's raining colors. Oh, credits. Chi Oh, all the trees are turning into regular trees. No longer spooky trees. Oh, for a lead artist? You? Yeah, I'm the lead artist. I didn't know. Where's my payment? I can't believe we actually did it. The brush is gone. Forever. Um, now that we've actually done it, do you think it's okay? This seems like kind of a big deal. That thing wasn't so special. If we both made new brushes, then I bet anyone can. Just have to teach them. Color would be f could be free. I think whatever happens next is good. But 
It's not going to be easy to teach. I barely even know how to... Gr I grew a brush myself. I could help you. But maybe not right now. I need a break. <laughs> I hear that. Let's just enjoy this for today. And tomorrow, we change everything. Juju. We change everything in the sequel, right? Woohoo! Credits continue! I thought the credits were just super short. You refuse to believe it? Believe it! Look at these little, like, words and stuff. These words mean we finished the story. Now we just gotta clean up whatever else we didn't get. Touches all the classes, art classes. Standing on the Words! Oh, this is that song in that trial. But with like a person instead of... Not. Clap, clap, clap. That's right. It's Emmy Evans singing this, by the way. Coming down the mountain side to find my way back home. I want to be where they can see I can't do it alone. Wow. I'm just chilling, huh? Nope. 
Paint gun! Paint, paint, paint! Oh, it's my map. I'm adding the colors in. It's in the order I explored the map too, huh? Hmm, 97.26%, huh? 23 and a half hours, huh? First painting yet? I know, right? I'm missing some gifts for trash or something. Cool. End of an era, achievement on law. Destroy the brush. It's cool because I can just grow new ones whenever I want. It says thanks for playing that too. Starting back in the janitor's house, huh? This stuff is perfect. We could use it for art classes for a while. I totally forgot the tower was already stocked with supplies. I hadn't used this studio in so long. You did a good job keeping the dust away, though. Oh, Dry was a good janitor. The only thing left for me to do is... Uh, it is for some reason. It, I is finally move out of here. Oh, I added the is preemptively. Traditionally, the wielder lives in the tower, but... Well, there's no such thing as a wielder anymore, right? So we'll transform the tower into a community space. I just have to figure out where to move to. You've been all over Picnic, right? Think you could help me pick a new place to live? Sure. Ew, thanks. I've been in decision paralysis this whole time. I need someone who can just tell me where to go. You got Chicory Flag! Okay. I'll stash that in your decor menu. If you find a place that seems good, put it there and come let me know. Okay, I'll start packing up my room. I'm sure you've got plenty to do, too. See you around, okay? Okay. Damn, she packed up quick. I'm all packed up. But you know, before I move out of here, I think we should redecorate this room, don't you? It could be a community workspace. Anyone could come to work on their own things. That'd be pretty neat. You have any decor you could use for that? Make a decent workspace. I think a lot of seating is essential. Plus wall decorations and plants to make it feel nice. And maybe a couple other random things. I'll let you figure it out. Why did we put a wielders in a giant tower anyway? It's so... gaudy. Taking the space back in the name of everyone. That feels like the right thing to do. So let's make it really cool here. Hmm. So, chairs. Okay, chairs. Uh, we got some chairs. Chair. What? Well, I didn't make it. Get over there. Chairs. A lot of seating, huh? Let's put like six chairs. Block chair. What the fuck's a block chair? Here we got the best. Ah, oh, wall decorations. Obviously, the fan art's gotta be in here. Totally not traced. And this adorable cat. Dum bum 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 bum. Did they say plants? I think she said plants. Let's stick the pansy right here. Oh, some mountain ash. Whatever the hell that said that was.
A random fungus pile over here. Obviously we need a picnic blanket. And then a beach towel. But it definitely fits in here. Beach towel is the welcome mat. Hmm. I haven't batted enough yet. Let's uh, do some lighting. Don't seem to have much lighting. Studio lamp. People need lighting, right? That's crazy. Need lots of room for this shit. I don't really have room for any more uh, things. Oh, I know the game system. And we need a clock to tell the time and stuff. Do we have any more room, really? I don't think I got any more room. Oh, the, the gramophone. That's right. Here we go. Ah, yeah, this is it. The vibe here is way better now. Thanks, chicken. Let me know if you find a place I should move on to. Ah, paint it all. Yeah. Hurry up. I spent so much time in here, feeling frozen and scared. It's gonna feel good to finally be somewhere else. You do find a good spot for my new house. Put my flag there from your decor menu. And then I'll and then come let me know. Where should we move Chikori to? Right here, right? Oh, what's this? Color map? View your map replay? No. It's like I can finally breathe again. Just when I thought we were all done for. A wonderful rainbow sprinkled down on us. And all the spooky trees blossomed. Was that your doing? I'll never forget it. It must be nice for you, too. Picnic's been in crisis your entire time as wielder. But now you can relax and enjoy it, right? I'll try to do the same. I, I haven't been able to relax in a long time. Better. Check it out! Do you see? Do you see? I grew my own brush flower. I thought about that time you let me draw, and it just kind of came to me. It, in a very tiny form. Pretty neat, right? Dustin to we, a paint wielder. So I heard you're gonna teach people how to make brushes. That's cool. Let me know if you need another master teacher. I've been waiting this whole this whole dang game for my chance. You have been a huge inspiration, Chicken. I thought you were just some dork who stole the brush. And I mean, maybe I wasn't 100% wrong. Actually... No, actually... You know, no, yeah, actually, I was 100% right. But that's why you're an inspiration. I aspire to be a brush-stealing dork as well someday. So I guess what I'm saying is... You know, keep an eye open when you sleep. Ha 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 JK, JK, JK. Probably. Yeah, so, good luck with everything, I guess. Truly, honestly, I look forward to your brush school. I want to learn to be cool like you and Chikri. And make friends. And have a generally good time. Thank you for giving me something to look forward to. I'll see you around. Cool. Anybody living in my house again? Hey, chicken. Thought I'd come for a little visit. Some di dad and kid time, right? I've been keeping busy with the holy shop. But you've been keeping busy with the wielding, too. <laughs> We're both just old busybodies. Still, you should take it easy sometimes. I probably worked too hard when you were little. Sometimes I'm worried I missed your childhood. Don't miss out on life, chicken. You'll be old and full of regrets before you know it. And for some fatherly advice, huh? 
Hey, chicken. Thought I'd come for a little fez the 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 that dude just said that already. Okay. Well, you had a good run, hey? Was it fun to be the wielder? Cause it's about time for you to step aside. I'm gonna grow my own brush and show you how it's really done. P, do you have any idea how hard it really is? Yeah, I do. Looks very easy. Next question. I have to say... Wait. Uh, that, that was... Uh, 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 uh. I have to say, I've always dreamed of using the brush too. Maybe dreamed isn't the right word, but... Wondered? So many of us never had the chance to consider it realistically. But now we can. And we can all work together to make a beautiful picnic. Or just let me handle it. It's exciting to think how much picnic might change. So many beautiful styles, all clashing together. Wait, maybe that would be terrible. Yeah, that's why I should just color everything my way. I'm not convinced your way is best, P. Everyone's got their flaws. <laughs> I love what you've done with this place. I just had to come see. It's exciting that you're filling Picnic all out new. It's like getting to see all these places for the first time again. It's just some random dialogue. Not you defeated the game dialogue. When you took up the brush, all the colors had washed away. But today they feel brighter than ever. Thanks for all your tremendous effort, chicken. I think you've really made Picnic a new and better place. I wonder if I might learn to grow a brush too. I've grown so many other things. So I must be a natural. <laughs> But do you think the world's ready for Basil, the brush wielder? I suppose I always saw my garden as a way to make my corner of the world a little more beautiful. Just the way a wielder should. To think we all, we'll all be able to do that together. It brings a little tear to my eye. I'm glad I'll get to see the beautiful world we, we all make together. <laughs> oh, better not say that and keel over, old man. Will I find all the achievements? Yes. You already knew this. You already knew this. Never thought I'd say it, but... Chicken, you're a pretty great wielder. Or you would have been anyway. If the concept of being a wielder still existed. Don't mean... It's the end of an era. I'm excited to see where art history takes us next. Do you think even someone like me could wield a brush? Well, heh. <laughs> I've always been more of a critic than a creator myself. If you put a brush in my hands, I don't think I'd know what to do. In that light, I have a lot of respect for you. It takes real courage to express yourself. So, thank you. There's lots of ways to be tough. And I'm pretty good at most of them, but... I don't think I could have done what you have, chicken. I guess you showed me a new way to be tough. I've never been great at making friends. I'm actually kind of shy. And I stink at being real with people. I always thought you were kind of the same way. But you communicate with your art. I want to learn to do that too. I guess deep down I'm kind of scared, you know? So I'm always trying to put up things to look big. Like asking for a house with tough colors. That's a way of using art to communicate something. But that's not all I am, right? I want to learn how to show those other parts of me. Because that's just about the toughest thing you can do. Alright. Fashion's always been my way to understand myself. I can be anybody just by changing what I wear. So when I think about making a brush, whatever that power is, I probably already had it. But I'm glad other people might have that power now, too. I want to see what world we can make together. Oh, Zucchini's finally going to talk to me again. Zucchini didn't only talk in the beginning of the game. We could never talk to this person ever again. 
Zucchini's been studying this whole game. Oh, I was so focused. You surprised me. I just finished the book I've been working on. Oh, you've been writing a book. Okay, never mind. I thought you were studying. It took so long to finally be at the end of my journey. And such a relief. Exclamation point. I just realized, now that it's done, I'll need to find an editor. And if I want anyone to ever read it, I'll need a publisher too. So I have to start pitching. I'm not even close to the end, am I? Exclamation point. Are you trying to say you want to know what my book is about? Well, I guess I should get in the habit of explaining it. It's, uh... Well, it's about the universe coming to an end. And a bunch of kids who are friends over the internet discover they're destined to play a sort of game to create a new universe together. But slowly they break free of their respective destinies and take control of the story, literally and metaphorically. It's, a uh, very meta. It's a lot. I should probably find a better way to summarize it. Yeah, you probably should. Chicken, is that a new brush? That's not a normal thing, right? Haha, <laughs> whoa. Wielder stuff never ceases to mystify me. I bet your popularity's gonna skyrocket with that. Well, things are a bit back to normal. <laughs> Folks used to visit luncheon to see the Wielder Tower. But now everyone wants to come see the new brush tree. It really is a sight. Thanks for everything, chicken. And if you ever want to update your shirt, our shirt design, you know where to find me. <laughs> Real. All the chilled ones. These kids are going to grow up in a different world than mine. It would have been nuts to think that any of them might be the wielder someday. But now, I guess they all could be. Hopefully after they learn not to make a big mess everywhere. Well, I guess that's art too. I think that's everything in lunch. What are we doing now? Where was that guy who told you? I could take some more uh, art classes. I know you love those. Art classes are the bomb, right? Amazing, right? You just curious if I'll find all achievements? I guess it's about time to go look and see what we're missing. I'm sure we we're sure there's one if we're doing all the classes or whatever. This lady's the one for the gifts. There's still two gifts hidden away on Spoon's Island. Hmm. I don't remember where the litter guy was, though. Hmm? What happened to all the colors here? There's one right there. I completely forgot about it. I couldn't figure out how to jump up here, right? Isn't that what it was?
It was actually so easy. You got island. I got my Hawaiian shirt. What's the point of this one, though? Nothing there. Where's the other gift? I had not. Looking for gift shaped objects. Oh, yeah, I bet it's related to this over here. It is. How the hell do I do that? That's what I was trying to figure out. gotta go to this screen make this one go up but then you can't huh what eh? they all raised except for that that one interesting oh oh okay okay get on this one to get up here but almost rest time oh for real see you don't need more energy Always? Hmm. You're just trying to get away from seeing more bad art when I get around doing the rest of the classes. Looks like I'm missing four achievements. All litter, all decor, all art classes, and all clothing items.
Clearly, we should finish with the amazing art classes. Billy, please, it's 10.20 a.m. Yeah, you go to sleep if you need to. You do what you gotta do, right? You do what you gotta do. Lowers all of them. And I'm pretty sure I tried jumping from the gap there to the gap there and it wasn't working. I suppose we can try again. It'll take me hours to finish this game. I think it's gonna take me more hours to finish the rest of this game. What? I wasn't able to make the jump before. I guess I just didn't angle it right. You got straw hat. Cool. Whether or not that was the last clothing item, I'm not sure. I might need to do clothing swap. If we can't even beat this puzzle. Yes, say you picked some bad timing to say that. What do you mean I can't jump in this water? That'd be that's pretty ridiculous. Would you like to take that back? One gift in grub caverns. Oh, they find a happy home. Grub caverns is over here somewhere. Oh, hi. I love it here. I was just out for a wander, but I had to stop and rest when I saw this pretty spot. You colored it, right? You did great. Thanks so much. Yeah, it'll probably be a couple more hours. Go to sleep! Did you know the camera codes and sleeping dog are random? Um, no, but what wouldn't surprise me. I think this is this is Yum Cave, right? Rub Cavern, huh? You did four to that well. You got three greens. But well, I didn't get that any time I did it. Actually, the scrub caverns here. Yeah, I didn't get this room. Probably because I couldn't swim at the time. Never came back here. Oh. You got monocle. Is that the last clothing item? We shall see. I never decides to unlock. It take five hours to a. Uh, If it doesn't pop in like two minutes, I'm gonna presume that I don't have them all. 
Yeah, let's go ask the lady if we've got if we need any more. hours to finish probably it would take me like three more years to finish this game I should just look at a walkthrough to tell me where the rest of my stuff is obviously there's one gift in brunch canyon where the fuck is that is that the top right I missed one up there? God damn it. I wonder if there's a point to calling home now post game. I'll home and get a hint on what to do next. Uh, there's not gonna be any hints. It's post game, unless it gives me an idea of where to look for stuff. Hello, who is this? It's me, Mom. Hello, Chicken. Is everything okay? You explain your whole situation to Mom. Hmm, Chicken. How do you get into these situations? Well, it sounds like, for starters, it looks like you beat the entire game. But there's still plenty for you to do. You should find a place for Chicory to move to. I totally forgot about that already. The flag she gave you would be in your decor menu. Put it outside somewhere she might like to live. At least, that's what I think. It's always good to hear from you, chicken. Good luck out there. Cute. You're happy because you know what throw weapons are in sleeping dogs? There's throw weapons? I get my fancy throwing knives? Can I, can I walk on zip lines too? Alright, what am I doing? Closest I can get to Brunch Canyon. Da da da. What? 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 Oh, yeah. Is that the, the litter guy? Yeah, it is. Uh, there's litter in one screen on Spoons Island. I was already at Spoons Island for the gift. I didn't go far far into it though. Where? Why are there still corrupted looking trees here? Oh yeah, I can go up waterfalls now. That's where my gift is. Maybe not. Anything that looks like a gift there.
Just think about sleep. If you want to sleep, you can go to sleep. Hmm. Yeah, the gift is here. Cut me loose, Chloe. Oh, I'm trying not to hold you hostage. You got a crown! Wow. This is my crown now. Angle up that waterfall. Get rid of it forever. I'm doing a bad job of that. I'm doing great. I don't think so. There's one gift in luncheon somewhere? Hmm. That's interesting. Put her hiding on one screen over here somewhere. about Mr. Trash somewhere. had any of the trash hiding behind anything so it was probably just the same color as the ground and I didn't see it I look for trash shaped items
far, I've seen nothing trash shaped. I have absolutely no idea what you've been watching. Isn't that good? I would you want to know what you've been watching. I still could go one screen up over there. Well, let's check over here. Click down here. think there's any trash here. Float tall. Right now, you've been watching the me try to find Litor. No, it's a good use of your time. Um, thankfully, I never made any declarations that watching my stream was a good use of your time. It is, however, a very pro use of your time. Let's go with that. what's going on right now I'm looking for the missing piece of litter and guy said I'm missing one here somewhere until I'm trying to find it been pretty good at the being easy to spot. This one must be in pretty deep. Nothing that looks like trash so far. Trash up here. And I came here through the first time. And maybe one down there too. I'm 
depends on what's going on. Some things are better than others. Yeah, that's definitely true. Collectible hunting is not very exciting. Said that in. It's in like the final area or on the outskirts somewhere. I'm not seeing it anywhere inside the island. Not see it anywhere. Well, what the fuck? Where is it? Is it considered on like one of these other islands somewhere? Confused. Well, walking through that one more time did not help me. 
One is well hidden or I'm blind as fuck. One or the other. What's this room? I thought I had 100% of the map un unlocked. What's this shit? I don't see the trash on this screen though. But I can't climb on the ground here anyway. Intriguing. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Found a screen that doesn't exist apparently. Oh, wait a minute. Can't go that way. Interesting. Well, it looks like you could, though. Oh, it looks like you could. can't jump far enough. I do not see the trash though. Very intriguing. Just this other random tile. Even though I got the achievement for clearing 100% of the map. We shall declare this one the secret hidden one. There's no trash here. Where the fuck is the trash I'm missing? I'm blunt. I'm having a harder time finding the trash than the gifts. Where was the last place I was supposed to look for gifts? I already forgot. Brunch Canyon? Oh wait, didn't I find that one? Oh, she said luncheon, didn't she?
Blonde as shit. Apparently. You know, I've had no trouble finding any litter up to this point. This one eludes me. And again, if it didn't, I would have found it on my first trip through. It wasn't being a stinky little piece of shit. He did say Spoon on Island, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he did. It totally looks like you could jump the... You're being a picky little bitch. This is how they, they extend the gameplay time. They're like, they stick one in some hidden corner somewhere, or even though they didn't do that for any of the other ones, and they're like, eh, she'll, she won't find it. I'll add an extra five hours to this. I'm probably can't get up there anyway. Mm -hmm. Dare they not just give me a map? Wait a minute. I should have noticed this room before. A treasure room. I've obviously been in here because I got the treasure. I think I would have noticed any trash, wouldn't I? Sure looks like I did. I don't see anything. I'm like, oh yeah, this room. And the game's like, you thought the trash was in this room, didn't you? Hee 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 hee. Got my hopes up for nothing there. Not see anything trash shaped in this room. I didn't see any prompts pop up.
another blind or some other room somewhere. They made the last few a bitch to fun. Absolute favorite things is um your cats. Yes, I know you said that 50 years ago, and I probably already replied to it. I have to keep my sanity somehow. about at the point where I'm just going to Google it. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Probably not. I don't see how you'd get there anyway. Game's too open. Whatever the hell this means. Presume the game's gonna crash now. Yep. Well. Yep. Well, let's try again. Yes, it's leaving Game Pass. I know. And for that corrupted my save file. That, probably, that message probably meant couldn't load screen or something. Oh yeah, the games always start with these little message things. Different every time. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure.
I don't seem to have remember. Where I was. Approximately. And so it saves each screen you're on then. Yeah, I didn't think I could get up there anyway. to look this one up, honestly. It's very sneaky. Or oh, there's yet another area I hadn't found. And how would I have had 100% of the map, though? Unless it doesn't count like dungeons, I guess. Or it could be that. like the game's starting to have issues. Audio or whatever. Sounds like it's popping sometimes. Not back there. Game's officially too OP for me. Was trash here. On screen, huh? I really have no idea. I'm perplexed. I'm gonna have to throw in the towel on this one. I do not see this bitch. Before it's not even on this main island.
Or it's just like visually hidden behind something. Which would be kind of weird because the game hadn't done that before. There was a lot of trash on the islands though. Mm. Well, Tom has cold. I'm going to try a name. That's really clever. But I know which one it is. That's sneaky. Oh wait, I didn't need to do all that other stuff. Just this part. I thought about, but I've actually totally forgot. Is that you can go down here? It requires filling that one up. Yeah, I bet I can fill this up, and then now it's it. Sneaky, sneaky. There's no way that I can't jump in that water. Get the fuck out of here. That BS. The reason I shouldn't be able to swim in that. Let's go check and see where else I'm missing them. I'm missing a gift and luncheon somewhere. Be. I wonder if it would count quests. Are there any quests I missed? Possibly. You painted this place, right? I like it. Really nice vibe here. Makes me want to stop and take it all in for a little bit. Duh. Where I missed a gift. 
some flowers somewhere. Some hidden underground one somewhere. Could be a new one up here, maybe? After beating the game. Yeah, looks like not. We gotta find Chikri's new house, right? Maybe, maybe she gives us a gift after we move, but it counts it as uh, this place. Chicken, I was just popping by for a visit. It's nice to see you. You know, you can always visit or call us, too. Not that we have anything special to offer. I just like seeing you sometimes. Adorable. It's illegal. game does not happy now. It's not happy after that crash. Maybe it needs to pop proper shave and quit. Cesarius counts as luncheon. Audio is still fucked. Load. All right. We can't fast forward to the end. Bam. see what the guy says the next litter is located at too. Back on for hidden gifts. Gifts open already too. I go over to dinners. This area wouldn't count as. Uh... Wait a minute. 
Oh, I've already opened that. Who's yeah. hiding behind that plant? Oh, I've already found that one. Desert Mountain has a litter on one screen, huh? It'd be so beautiful if not for the litter. <sighs> and then a treasure and lunch. Mm. Oh yeah, what what happened to those guys? Where were those guys? Oh, they were up at... Judging by the time span of the cameras, they're up at Simmer Springs. I forgot all about those guys. It's about where the next litter is, though. I wonder if I can see my stats. There's Clex Perk of this. Uh, that only shows how many I've currently got. Oh, I was curious how many I had out of whatever the total amount is. I guess there's no uh, ultimate. Thing that shows me how many there are total. I don't know how many litters I'm missing. But. I guess we'll figure it out. Or not. One or the other. Either figure it out or we don't. It's pretty simple, isn't it? I think I would have found it if it had been here. See it here. Mm -hmm. 
Here. Uh. Now they're in some sneaky location. Hey, cat, what's up? You admiring my amazing skills? I don't doubt it's up here. They said Desert Mountain, didn't they? It depends on where Desert Mountain ends. Where Desert Peak begins. My sister's just hanging out over there, huh? Those will see what she wants. Oh, hey, chicken. I just came by to check out your colors. Looking really nice here. It's cool seeing how you decided to color stuff. You got this. I got what? What do I got? Button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Be beach. Where it is in the first area? You technically reach the area called Peak. Hmm. 
I found that gift. These are very well hidden. I don't have trouble finding the brush styles, but some of those trashes. Kinda like, well, excuse me? He didn't say Desert Peak, though. I said Desert Mountain. I hadn't been in here. Oh, you piece of shit. Uh. I only said one screen, so that's it for her. Now let's go talk to him and see where else I'm missing stuff. What's up here? Actually, no, let's, let's go this way. Kids are near here. The treasure. Kid, kids, so let's go talk to them. There's somewhere around here. Over here, I think. Up here, maybe? <laughs> yeah, you guys. I found your shit. Whoa! What is it, biscuits? I can't tell. I can tell just by looking at you. You found all our treasures, haven't you? Whoa! They were hidden for so long. We got really bored. Yeah, thanks for finding them. Now I can think about new secrets. Finally. Well, maybe in Chicory too. <laughs> oh, that's all you guys say? I thought you guys were going to give me some treasure or something. Okay. That was just some dialogue. Dang, I'm way off from dinners. I should just check the transit bench if I want to see where the next letter is. Oh wait, I just went away from it. It's right there. Mm -hmm. It's been seven hours. 
10 hour stream. Let's go. Let's go. What the fuck? That wasn't a bicyclist. That was a little kid. First time I've seen that. It's probably a little rare spawn thing. Oh, my goodness. You picked up all the litter and picnic. That's incredible. I can't believe that either, honestly. You really ought to be proud. There's nothing I can offer to a hero like you. A clean province is his own reward. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. A million times, thank you. I'm so grateful to live in a clean, litter-free province. Of course, the journey doesn't end here. Now that we've cleaned up Picnic, we've got to fight to keep it litter-free. It won't happen unless we all work together. Oh, achievement in like three minutes. We'll just wait. Unless there's some side quest that gives me litter, maybe. It's taking its time. Mm, I guess we go to lunch. Hello, fellow adult. I got here with my transit pass. Um, just as any adult typically would. I'm on an adventure all across Picnic. It's going great. And I don't miss my mom or anything. Have a nice day. Uh -huh. It feels weirdly good to be back again. I expected to have a lot of pleading, have to do a lot of pleading with Mochi. But she was just happy to see me. Why did I think she hated me? I've still got some adjusting to do. But I can't help mochi with your hair now if you'd like. My hair is just fine. Mmm, my cheap is really late. Dude. I wonder where this gift is. Supposed to help Chic replant her new place to live. <gasps> Where should she go? Oh, 
probably Brecky, so she can live on the beach, obviously. She deserves a big break. Even stop popping, is it? Crashing the game broke my game. Or what? Did it just not bring up a notification like uh, what happened with that? Um, uh... Oh, yeah, it just didn't bring up a notification. If I save and quit, that'll be fixed. Like, reload the game? It did pop up. The notifications died just like they did with the... Uh... Echo. Of Starshot. Oh, you, you saw nothing? Hopefully not me. Closing the game and then reopening it to see if it wants to work and pop the cheap notifications properly. Definitely not. Definitely not me. Hmm. Click the old decor. I guess I should see if there's any more uh, litter I can trade. I figure out how to get the final gift in this area. Luncheon, too. You thought you were done yet? No. It's normal not always know where you're going. Good. Cause I don't know where I'm going. Wherever achievements are. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta be hidden or something, right? There a dot there. Hmm. Huh. Actually. Nope. Oh. You like your new tough manly colors? Actually, can I go in there? Well, that looks like it might be a vent, actually. But I guess not. Nobody. Oh wait, Dad's here. I did. Under the umbrella.
I bet it's related to picking a spot for Chikri. Let's go pick her spot out. Somewhere on the beach is her house, obviously. Everybody else taking those good spots. Stick your house right here, right? That's all we need. It's all the space we did. There we go. This is where Chikri's house could go. Better go back to the Wielder Tower and let her know. That's right. Do I even have a seatbelt? Oh, you picked out where my new place should be? Do you think I should live in Brecky? Sounds good to me. Well, being anywhere else sounds good right now. I'm excited to see the spot you picked. I'll head there straight away and set up. Come visit me sometime. Let's go see. I totally didn't pick that spot because it was like one square away from a, a nice bench. Ooh. Wow. Very colorful. It's my yurt. It's definitely not the same as living as in, in a tower. But I think it suits me better. Feels good to finally be somewhere new. I think this could be a fresh start for me. We're gonna have to put serious thought into how we teach people to grow brushes. In the moment, it seemed to make so much sense. But how do you teach that to someone? Maybe we'll have to lend our brushes around. I'm excited to use my own new brush some more. You like how I did my place up? But I haven't done much else since that final battle. Feels strange since you've already got colors everywhere. Almost don't want to mess with it, you know? I've got a lot of work to do. Especially on myself. I really want to be better. But I think what I need is to accept myself when I'm not. That's... I still don't really know how to do that. But I'm going to try. Well, I'm sure I'll be seeing a lot of you. It's scary to step into a new multi-brush world. But I feel like with you, I can do it. That's corny, isn't it? But I mean it. When this all started, just getting out of bed felt impossible to me. But we've done a lot of impossible things together. So impossible doesn't mean much to me anymore. Thanks for being there when I needed you. Oh. He's got two colors. What would mom say if I called her now? They're like, I have nothing more to say to you, bitch. Get the fuck out right now. These colors are amazing! I could just stay here forever. Then do it, bitch. Is there more litter here? Oh, there's more stuff here. 
Hey, I've got a record here if you want it. I'd love to get some new items. Underground record. Mountain record. I guess I just bought them out at the time and didn't get all the stuff for, uh... Because I added stuff later. Woodsy record. We're reaching new areas. We got new themes. Like this is the Spoon Island one, right? Relaxing record. Spooky record. Hardcore record. Maybe I was just missing records. Moments record. I just might. It's like the perfect amount of litter. Big city record. And the last one. Friends record. Oh, that's happy. Thanks for taking all those record players off my hands. I finally convinced Kiwi to stop bringing me more. And I love all the litter you brought. Each and every one is precious to me. Maybe it makes me a bit strange. But I just love my little knickknacks. When I hold them, it's like I can feel their history. And now all their stories have a happy ending here with me. I mean, pretty sure they'll outlive you, but... You know. Oh, I saw the the kid again. Interesting. That's all the litter. All the tours. Do I have all decors now, or am I still missing some? Still missing some decors. All right. I'm turning all the litter for the decor, though. Maybe I get decor. F oh wait, I get decor when I finish the classes, don't I? Yeah, I get the paintings. They're technically decor. Oh, 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 oh. oh, what I should be focusing on is the clothing items then, because you don't get that at the classes. I'm missing one somewhere in luncheon. Where? I don't fucking see it. I don't see this beer. <laughs> It's not Litor I'm missing. That one there. We got this one here. I chase there's a oh, baby. So. Not that one. Oh. 
one that you can only get from Tea Time Meadows. That's probably the one I'm missing. It's apparently actually like right up here. I guess I'm, that's the one I'm missing. You gotta go north. Got Tea Time, figure out where it is. Oh, this is such a nice little garden. The leafy bush is probably my favorite touch. It also smells so nice and fresh. I could stay here forever. I bet you could. Really, it's like here? Flower petals. And I call her flower petals. Oh, they foreground. I don't count. Oh, yeah. Got the final gift, uh, we'll see. You got dot dress. Very cool. Very profile. Now let's go check with the lady down in the house. And see what she has to say to me. Probably you missed one. <clears throat> I missed a one in Dessert Peak? Really? Where the fuck was it? Probably a hidden in the ground one like the one I just got. this nonsense. Hmm, this one probably counted as Dessert Mountain since it's not named Dessert Peak yet. Dessert Peak probably starts here. Just look curious. But you can't climb this. For sparkles. Obvious one there. That was a trash, right? Yeah. 
Maybe there's one buried in that rock I didn't blow up. That'd be pretty freaking typical, wouldn't it? Oops. I don't think this can be close enough. Oh, it actually was. Now I know for sure it's not there. I don't think I can go up there. Hmm, a big gift. I don't think there'd be a little one where there's a big one. Seems kind of unlikely and I don't see it. And there's no sparkle sounds. Got to color that one in. Open that one. Hmm. Really? Wonder where it could be. Gotta be underground somewhere. You little piece of shit. How dare you. Ah, you fucking...
Not using my brain no more. Seven a.m. Brain is toast. It's like it though. What's up? It's like it. Deep. Maybe it's on the way down the mountain. Have I been in here yet? Ah! Sneaky! You got tiara! Wow! Why would I have a tiara when I can have a crown though? Let's go see if that's uh our last one. If we're missing a gift somewhere. Ayush. Become a fish. One in eleven says. Intriguing. I wonder where. Eleven says, like, right above me. Maybe it's related to the gallery, actually. Hmm, this area counted as Desert Mountain, didn't it? For that uh, litter or whatever I was looking for. Lovins, it starts here. in the same room as another gift. I've never seen two gifts in the same screen after all. Well, oh, have I ever been in that tunnel up there? I might have forgotten to come back here. Nope, I did not forget to come back here. Got that one. Hmm. Where, oh where could it be? Don't surprise me at all if it's related to this. I got two more of the masters to do. Oh, art. Pretty cool. Um, I'm not really a gallery person. Just thought it'd be cool to see yours. I don't know what you're supposed to say about art. Like, ah yes, the, uh, the compositions. So sublime and dutably. Etc. Okay, that's all I got. But, um, yeah, I like it. Good art, thank you. You're welcome. Mmm, right, right, right. Letting go, bye fries. 
It's a historical piece about the lasting impact of the Brush Wars. It's a really dark piece, tonally and visually. The only source of light are the spirits of the Knight's fallen comrades. It works visually, but it's also kind of a nice metaphor, isn't it? They're finally letting go of those they lost, and it gives them some warmth. Let's hope there's never another brush war. A breezy field by Vanilla. You can really feel the breeze in this one, can't you? A pose, the dramatic landscape. This one is a mood. It's strongly from the anime period of art history. I love all the artists in this gallery. But Vanilla might be my favorite. In an era overflowing with wonderful art, hers stood out. I'd give anything to see what her original colors were like. Now that anyone can make a brush, I bet the art world is going to explode. What new kinds of classics are possible now? It'll probably be great. And probably also a bit terrible. Like the internet. <laughs> Wait, how do you know what the internet is? There's no internet in this world. It's exciting that everything is changing now. If I'd gotten to wield a brush that I made myself, I think things would have been happier for me. You still could. I guess that's true, but... Well, I gave up on wielding when I put down the brush. I don't know if I want to return to it now. When you discovered you could grow your own brush, you were remembering your connection to the first brush, right? Something like that. It's a feeling you could have as a former wielder. It's a feeling I share. I'm sure Chicory and Blackberry did too. But we didn't learn to grow our own brushes. No other wielder ever has. Even though, it turns out, we probably could. I think the reason is because... In our hearts, we didn't really want to. When I gave up the brush, I gave up that part of myself too. That's what makes you so special. You hadn't given up yet. Hickory learned to grow her own brush, too. That's true. Both of you are inspiring youngsters. <laughs> you make an old lion like me feel lazy. But I don't feel sad about giving up the brush, really. I moved on and found new ways to express myself. I think there's lots of ways to be happy. What's exciting is, plenty more people will get to experience what you and I did. And hopefully they'll find their own way to be happy, too. Bro, true. You bitch. Got pajamas. That's what I should be wearing right now. I'm going to sleep. Pajamas. Let's go check and see if she has anything to say about where there's more gifts. You. I've been on a wander singing your song. I think everyone here likes it. Come join me in the Tea Time Meadows if you want to make a new one. I will not fucking do that. Do you guys like it or not? Or not? They don't have any comments on it, so I guess they like it. Grub Deep. Where the fuck's in Grub Deep? Oh, grub deep. Grub deep. Grub caverns. Huh? I got a secondary level to grub caverns? Probably just something I couldn't get with some ability I didn't have at the time. I need to buy a bug. A bug. Or something. I don't know. Some cavern on. Ooh, scrub deep down here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go somewhere down here. 
Those guys. I got you. Maybe they added some stuff so I could just climb the walls later if I wanted to. It's nice of them. Got that one too. Oh yeah, the shortcut. Gotta be actually in the actual dungeon somewhere. That one's open. This is near the ta town. Be in the dungeon somewhere up here. Open. Big gift here. I'm gonna be a little one here. Hmm. I suppose those ones could be hiding. But not likely though. Got that one as well. Another one that's well hidden. Probably an underground one somewhere.
Open Tree Game. Yeah, what's mom's side now that we help Chico it? In the middle of something, give me a moment, okay? Damn. Okay, sorry about that. What's on your mind? Explain your whole situation, Bob. Hmm, that reminds me of something that happened to me once. I think I have an idea for you. You could finish your classes at the Academy in Potluck. Those would be fun. At least that's what I think. There, she told me to finish my classes. <laughs> All right, got that one too. worth a shot. There isn't going to be more than one. I wonder if it's related to this thing here. Which is just this room again. I think so. Worth a shot though. I've already been down here. This is a shortcut. Ah, you little bitch. 
gut and turn her. That's right. I guess it's time to get out of here. Let's see what the lady in the house has to say now. Gonna be like, oh, your colors are so cool. Well, I really love what you've done with the colors here. Picnic is looking better than ever now. Sure thing, fanboy. Intriguing. Got that one there. The one there. I don't think there's likely to be two gifts on the same screen. <laughs> Rooftop party, huh? This takes me back. Dinners used to be so cool, you know. Rougher and rowdy and ruder and dirtier. We'd party on the rooftops and get in fights. Now everything's so clean and tidy. And full of trees and kindness and junk. I mean, I guess it's actually pretty nice here now. But like, isn't, is it freedom? I did want to put the record player or something here. Was that one lady wanted one? She'll show up if I uh, put one up her. Probably that. Looking for sparkles. Sure, I've done the tops of the buildings here, here already. Well, let's check it. Yeah. Let's see if he has anything new to say. Didn't think so. I'm a, I'm a genius. 
My, like, wait a minute. That looks like one of those buried spots. Senses were going like... I haven't done the painting there yet. Looks like my last achievement will be getting all the decor. Because I have to do all the classes to get all the decor. It's been a long time since I've been back there, so it's probably some ability that I didn't have. What? Very early game area. That one too. Big gift up here. I'm feeling this side. Unacceptable. Filling quite a few walls, but you know. be on that side. Like, what do I do though? I don't think I was actually supposed to get up here. If I get that vibe. Look at that, wasn't actually supposed to be able to get up there, though. 
If it was a nibble tunnel, she'd have said nibble tunnel. She did not say nibble tunnel, though. She said Appy Foothills. For a reason. You can get there. I think that's a different height. Yep. Hmm. Oh, hey, I came to check out your art here. It's amazing how much your color adds. So much energy. It's like you brought this place to life. Oh, thanks. I did it all myself because I'm a badass. Neck. I don't want a hot neck. I want a cold neck, not a hot neck. Duh. It's time to figure out where the next one is, lady. You gotta tell us. Once we get out of here, anyway. Oh, that's it. Wow, wow, wow! I can't believe it! You're the one who found every single gift! In all of Picnic! I feel like I'm talking to a celebrity here! <laughs> Most folks just won't know what, how stupendous it is. I'm really into the gift scene, though, so... Yeah, never thought I'd see the day. 
No more hidden gifts and picnic. It's almost kind of a drag. Tracking those was my hobby. Maybe I ought to go hide some of my own. Wait, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> You'd probably find them right away. Hmm. Cute. If that's all the gifts, that means that's all the clothes, right? Yep. That means my achievement notifications are just straight up broken now. Yep. Rest in peace. There's not gonna be a cool achievement pop to finish this game, because the game crashed and that broke the achievement pop-ups. So sad. It is what it is, though. I thought I could try resetting the entire console. Ooh. Uh. I guess we'll try resetting the entire console. Oh wait, I gotta save and quit first. We gotta save and quit. No, oh, no, oh, good work. Cool. What words of wisdom do you have for us today? Locating this place just the first step. Okay. How much wisdom? Gotta think about it. It's gotta load. Gotta do this little thing in the corner. Let's take some classes. Care to join us for an art class? Unfortunately, yes. <clears throat> take your places, everyone. For today's assignment, I want you to create a cool or scary creature. We've done a cute creature before. But I want to see you express something more intense. Think about where your creature might live. Or what sorts of things it eats. That might give you a clue to figure out its form. Hmm. Chloe eats cat food. We'll make her purple because that's scary color. This is, is going to be terrifying. You know, cause she'll have um, her mouth open with a bunch of sharp teeth that will definitely to tell. Ah. Sharp teeth. See, there's a uh, bunch of sharp teeth. Ah. Uh, she's, she's telling about to eat you. She's about to mention. Ah. Ah. Um, uh, she doesn't look, she doesn't look that scared. She looks kind of like she's in pain, but, you know. No, but, but, it's a sharp claws. See there? Sharp. You got a sharp claw, she's gonna get you. Ah! This looks more like that Pokemon, doesn't it? <laughs> Damn it. I thought it was supposed to drop Pokemon. Nintendo's gonna get me. She's, um, purple death. Purple death. Arafon. Garrett. It's a scary creature, alright. Alright. 
side, brushes down. Let's see how they look. I refuse to spend more than three minutes per painting. I've got like five to do. Ah, cool. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to meet this one. There's just a touch of dark pink to round it out. There's a lot of intriguing detail. Overall, light and dark are well balanced. It's super, super cool. It reminds me of this movie I really love. Maybe it has a kind heart, though. That's what I'd like to think. Okay. That's all for now. Your piece will be at the Simmer Springs Resort, Chicken. Keep practicing. Class is about to start. Want to join us? <clears throat> Take your places, everyone. Take a look at this old classic. Ah, I like to do kitty cats. How they keep those monocles on, though? I got one on loose. That's water, it's not alcohol. The Bachelor Party by Plantain. Plantain? Let's see how you bring it to life. Oh, that's, well, first of all, we got the table. the square whatever is down there. Over here we got the glass. Then we got the big butt Yeah. Great. Cat paw up here, head, ears. I do have a lot of cats in this game. I can tell the the devs are cat fans. I don't really have room for this other cat. No, I don't. Perfect. I'll make the other one uh, this one. You're like, what the heck's going on here? Mm, it's time for the details, right? Oh, the very detail. It's like, here's your monocle eye, and there's your other eye. And your nose, and your like disapproving there, and uh, let's get your collar in here. This is a wide, crazy eye one. He's like, what? I've seen things. I've seen things, man. There's only so much you can do when you can't even adjust the opacity, man. Well, yeah, you're supposed to have a monocle, too. Yeah, hey, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, I forgot the glass for the other cat. Got like a little shot glass there. Boom, there we go. That's like perfect, right? Gotta fill in your cheek a bit. Go. That's perfect. All right, brushes down. Let's see how we did. <laughs> I 
wish I could be at that party, too. Which one are you? I'm the one on the left. It's quite complex. You made especially tasteful use of that blue-green color. I can tell you really like that blue-violet. I'm probably the one on the right. They look like they were having fun. I can feel that in your painting, too. Okay. That's it for now. Your piece will be in the Elevens' Master Gallery, Chicken. Keep practicing. Class is about to start. Want to join us? <clears throat> Take your places, everyone. For today's assignment, I want you to express love. Think deeply about this one. Love is universal. Yet, everyone's experience of it is unique. What does love feel like to you? What does it look like? I want you to express that. Yet another Chloe painting, I swear. I can't believe it! Except now she pink. The sappy color. Why there's no red? You want to express love and they don't even have red? No red hearts for that? What the fuck game? You believe this nonsense? Looks just like you, right, cat? Not really, but. He's got a burner. I don't think this. Looks a little better. Looks just like her. That's right. Be totally happy, right? This is an abomination. Back it out was just uh, not doing that. I'm gonna show off her brown stripes or some shit. But I don't think so. She's got a beard now. Right, Kate? Brushes down. Let's see how they look. That's really beautiful, chicken. Feels right to me. The shapes are complex. There's a lot to think about. Your sparing loose of blue, light blue, green is pleasing. There's even an chiaroscuro kira, there here. There is. That's like shading or some shit, right? Mm. You know, I've never really been in love. But I'd like to feel like this someday. Okay. That's all for now. Your piece will be in dinners, chicken. Keep practicing. Want to take a class with us? Well, I'm not done yet, so no. I don't want that light. I guess I do. Ahem. Take your places, everyone. This is it, everyone. The final lesson. <gasps> yes! Of course, I've saved the most intricate piece for last. This classic will challenge your every artistic skill. You'll be doing a master study of... A horse? You gonna botch this horse? It looks so fuzzy. Somebody painted that? It looks like a fucking photo, man. Portrait of a Horse Looking Back by Korn. 
Striking, isn't it? Put all your heart into it and see what you can make. That's crazy. This horse is gonna be the most beautiful horse by the time I'm done with it. I don't know about that, but... Uh, I think the head went up too long. Try it. Other ear. Back that way. That looks like more like some kind of giraffe or some shit. <laughs> the giraffe is, uh, wants to die. This is, still looks like a fucking giraffe, but okay. That was a spiky giraffe. needs to be all sunny and stuff. What? 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 Sunshine and roses, right? Why can I use... What? Why can I use red here, but not on the level? You believe this. This horse is totally have blue eyes. That's right. I only see that. You can't really see the other eyeball. Rah! Stare at it. They are. Da, da, da. wrong brush. I'm trying to add some shading down there. This makes it look derp. Oh, but this is the diamond wrap. No way, it should be white. It looks like a one-to-one -one rendition of me. Not like it's uh, dying or anything. This guy's fine. Definitely not killed over or whatever. Ugh, it's not even the right pink color. Ah, if I want to adjust the eyes, I'd have to go over here. That looks really close. And since it's the final one, we need our stamp in the corner. In the, the best color. Alright, brush is down. Let's see how we did. This one always freaks me out. 
There's a lot going on here. There's just a touch of blue to round it out. The image feels all about that pink color. Okay. Your piece will be in the Elevenses Master Gallery, Chicken. And that's it. You've completed every art class we have to offer. Congratulations. Please take this honorary degree. You got an art degree. Thank you. Your studies may be done here. But you should never, ever stop practicing. Your artistic journey never ends. Aww. Yay! Graduate achievement unlocked. Complete all art classes. Good to know the notifications are working again. Still coming for more classes, huh? Guess you're really taking the wielder thing seriously. I'm glad for you. You don't even have to graduate or anything. But I guess it's good to practice, too. Da -da -da. Can I tell you a secret? Oh, damn, the music died. I think I want to draw tattoos. Whoa! Why is that a secret? I don't think Mom and Dad are going to like it. I mean, it's not the same as being the wielder. I want to do something that makes them proud. Especially after going through school. They gave up a lot- they gave a lot up for me. And I love them both so much. I feel like just doing something like that. I don't know. Clementine. I was a barista and a janitor after I moved out. I really never figured my stuff out. But they've always loved me just the same. I know. But it's different. Chicken, you've always been kinda all over the place. And you know we we still love you to bits. But like, for me, I think mom and dad expect more. I'm really scared of disappointing them. Ah, sorry, chicken. I didn't really mean... I know, I understand how you feel. It doesn't matter what you do, Clementine. I'll love you no matter what. You feel the same about me, don't you? Of course I do. We all do. Don't you think Mom and Dad feel that about you, too? As long as you're happy doing what you want, I know they're going to be proud of you. Aw. I, um... Oh. So cute. I think I knew all that, but... I guess I just needed to hear it. Thanks, chicken. Well done, chicken. You are unquestionably a master of art now. But there's always room to continue improving. I hope you'll take your newfound skills across picnic. I had dreams of being a wielder once. But Blackberry was my contemporary. So there was never a hope of me taking that mantle. Uh -huh. But I think it was all for the best. I found a true passion for teaching. I love watching students find their own voice through art. It's an honor and privilege to support them on that journey. GG. Finally finished all the art classes. Dobie wisely went to sleep so I didn't have to see the abominations I drew. Whew. All right, one more achievement. I wonder if there's even any point in the clothing swap, because I've already got them all. <laughs> Exciting news, we're now servicing new areas, including the Banquet Rainforest, not to mention Brunch Canyon, and a bunch of places we missed around Picnic. Whoa! It looks like all clothes out there have been found already. Or at least, in the areas we currently service. So, uh, there's nothing to swap. Whoa! Oh. So this guy is pointless now. Interesting game idea. Uh, go to Elevenses, right? I don't know if the paintings in Elevenses will be my last decor or not. We'll see. We still know the achievements are popping now, so I'll know when I get it. Unless it decides to break the last one. I guess it could if it really wants to. It should be like a how dare you. Alright, let's get some decors. Look at that full gallery. 
Wow. A full gallery full of amazing, super cool art. You got classic painting. A bachelor party by Plantain. Plantain's a really interesting character historically. They say that later in life he suffered greatly. From violent mood swings and mental illness. His art also got a lot more experimental and interesting. Some psychologists actually studied how his art changed over his life. As a window into his shifting mental state. But the more they scrutinized it, the less it explained anything to do with his mental health. It goes to show how stigmatized mental health is. Or mental illness is. Any old artist can draw weird stuff and it's fine. But if that artist is suffering from mental illness... Their experimentation is evidence of their madness. Kind of a double standard, right? Folks see romance in the idea of a mad artist. But struggling with mental health doesn't help anyone make anything. If anything. It's amazing that Plantain can still paint so late in life. I like to think painting helped give him some peace and balance. His characters still make me smile anyway. Cats are pretty cute. Right, right. Is this the last one? <gasps> Is this the last decor? I'm not sure. You got classic painting. Portrait of a Horse Looking Back by Corn. It's the very last missing piece. Amazing job. There's just so much to unpack about it, too. The figure is nude, but the focus is solely on their expression. Despite that, you can feel them laid bare before you. That coquettish look over the shoulder. And looking back has a double meaning, doesn't it? They seem to be looking back at us, but what else lies behind them? It all adds to the timeless mystery of their expression. But of course, the most salient detail. The hyper-realism. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? It's almost realer than real. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Very detailed. That's how you know Corn was a real master. Cool stuff. Hmm, so that probably wasn't the last decor then. Where else, though? Hmm. Nope, that wasn't the last one. Where would the last one be, then? I bought all the things with the litter. I've done the kids. Decor starred. What? No achievement though? Interesting. Master Decorator Achievement Unlocked. Collect all decor! Well, alright then. You know what this means. Well, you know what this means. Well, you know what this means. This means. We have finished this game. Achievement pops whenever the heck it wants to. Woohoo! We need it. We need it. We finish the game. A game has been completed. It does whatever the heck it wants to. 
Well, let's go party at the oh, that, a cool blue place. Let's get the heck out of this not cool blue place. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Woohoo! All that pretty blue. Where the best colors are. Right there. I guess I had to move over another screen to pop that last achievement. Interesting though. There's 33 out of 33. Thousand out of thousand. That is what it is. Achievements are a little buggy sometimes, but at least they pop, right? I got it done! Whoa. That's good. I was thinking the last one had glitched on me for a second there. I was about to be like, oh shit. If it didn't pop, that would mean I would have to do it all over again. Which would be exceedingly exciting, I guess. Chicken! I heard you'd grown a new brush, but I almost didn't believe it. Who knew you were such a special, amazing person? Well, I did. But I think you've shown the world now, too. I always believed in you. We were outside when colors started falling from the sky. It was so beautiful. Where did all that come from? I guess it was from the old brush exploding. Wow. That's grim, but it was beautiful. There's a lot to ta of talk about how things will change. You've got the whole Art Academy worried and excited. It makes me proud to know that's my kid out there. Disrupting the order of society with magical brush powers. Woohoo! I'm just kidding around. Well, half kidding. I really am proud of you. I know it took a long time. But I'm glad you found something that makes you happy. That doesn't come easy. It certainly never did for me. Now we just have to worry about your sister. Good luck with everything, chicken. Come visit any time you like. And don't be afraid to call, either. Ooh, actually, I want to call and see what she says now that I've done all the things, right? Way to go, kiddo. I, uh... Well, I always knew you were a great kid. What you did with that brush. It's pretty heroic, you know? I didn't know my kid was so cool. It's enough to make a guy tear up. So, like, uh... What's the deal with you and Chikari, anyway? she your girlfriend now or something? Dad! <laughs> okay, okay. I know when to shut up. Whatever you set your mind to, I know you can do it. If you're going to be a cool brush wielder and teach everyone how to grow their own brush, I know you'll be good at that, too. I'm proud of you for finding your own path. Just don't forget about us when you're famous. I'm already famous, though. I haven't forgotten about you. Go home and get a hint on what to do next. What hint? Ah, hello? Hey, Mom! Oh, Chicken, it's so nice to hear from you. What's on your mind? You explain your whole situation to Mom. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, if you're asking me, to be honest, I have no idea. I don't think there's anything left for you to do. I'd say you've earned yourself a break. I think that's a good idea. I hope you're doing okay, chicken. Your sister says hi, by the way. <laughs> oh, what? Hello? Hmm, that was one of like, the people from Brucky, wasn't it? Hey! Chicken, you've done something pretty incredible. I did? You completed the entire game, 100%. Honestly, that's a pretty wild accomplishment. There are a lot of secrets in this game. So, great job. You should visit your home and luncheon sometime. I have some friends who'd really like to meet you. Hmm. That sounds like a hint. Let's go check our house out.
Whoa, bunch of people. Whoa, hey! You sure played this game a bunch. I'm Alexis, and I designed and animated all the characters. And did the promo art and a few other bits and pieces. But the characters were my main focus. I hope you like them. I tried to make each of them feel like someone who you might meet in the real world. And want to know more about. If you have a favorite character, I would love to know who they are. Uh, me! I love drawing and learning about animals. And thinking about their peculiarities and adaptations. So I jumped at the chance to make a whole game full of them. There's a lot of fun questions to answer. My early sketches are covered with notes like, Is everyone vegan? No predator-prey relationships? Are birds people? Are reptiles? Amphibians? Fish? We basically ended up saying yes to all of those. Bugs occupy the wildest, widest spectrum. They have a society similar to the vertebrates in Picnic. But also many smaller bugs taking over slots in the ecosystem. That vertebrates could usually occupy. Like the sparrow bugs around Potluck. Or the hummingbird moths. Hummingbird moths are actually real though. You should look them up, they're so cool! I know, right? They are pretty cool. I used to work in animation on lots of different things. This is the first game I've ever worked on. And the first project I've been such a big part of from start to finish. It's been incredible and so much fun and really rewarding. And a bit scary. I have trouble valuing my own ideas. It's something I'm working on. But since I'm new to making games, I found it especially hard to judge whether any idea I had was helpful. Or even practical. I know I spent way too long on some things. Or put too much animation into things that go by very quickly. I still have a lot to learn. But I like learning. That's pretty cute. I wrote this a few months before we released the game. While I was deep in trying to finish the animations. And we were finalizing the dialogue to send it to translators. I know by now that I'm not going to be able to put everything I want to put into this game. It's a scary thought, knowing we're going to release something that doesn't feel perfect to me. But if I'm honest, would it ever feel perfect? Nope. You'll always feel like there's something you can improve. Even if I got everything in that I wanted to, I'm sure I'd want to revisit the first animations I did and redo them. There are effects animations that I'm not totally happy with. And some of the designs could be stronger. And there's too many mammals compared to the number of reptiles and birds. And loads of characters would benefit from more emotes and... Uh... If it was up to me to call it finished, it might never be finished. <laughs> and then nobody would get to play it. So... I'm glad it's not up to just, just up to me. I'm so glad I'm making this with friends who I love and trust. Probably nothing can ever actually be perfect. But I know together we can make something honest and beautiful. I re really hope you like it. Cute. <laughs> Hello, I'm M, and I did most of the sound design. Preston Wright was a big help with the boss sound effects. I was really happy to be a part of this game. Because it has a message I think is super important. I've always felt sad to hear people say they're not creative. Because I believe very deeply that we're all creative. And that all it takes is trying. I think it's amazing what we can do. When we push away the pressure that makes creativity seem a big deal. I hope that while playing, you discovered or nurtured some of the creativity within yourself. I definitely connected with this message while making the game. I did my best to work through pressure. I was feeling from the expect from expectations. Just have fun with the tactile and silly paint sounds. When I started this project, I got a bucket of paint, some glue, and some flour. And recorded everything I could think of for a couple days. Mixing, stirring, squelching, and the like. The best sounds were... When I cupped my paint together, hands... I cupped my paint and covered hands together and made farts. <laughs> That's what made up all the text, menu, and painting sounds. As well as a good deal of the interactable objects. But most of what you hear in the sound design is just paint. Working this way, I often feel like I don't even design the sounds. The sounds exist in the world. And I've just practiced how to listen to them and coax them out. It really feels like something anyone could do. I was listening for sounds that I felt that felt pleasant and relaxing. 
Because I wanted to feel that same kind of relaxation. While you were painting or running around the world. I hope it worked. Anyway, thanks for playing our game. I hope you can continue to follow those little moments of joy. Towards creating something you love. Art. Very cute. Walk, walk, walk. Hi. I'm Madeline. I drew all the environment stuff. Thanks for taking the time to look at all my wobbly plants, windows, benches, etc. I like the walking. Most of the plants I drew are vague references to actual ones that exist around me in the Pacific Northwest. I really enjoyed studying shapes of different weeds and wildflowers and making them recognizable in my art style. Let me know if you need the full Latin name for any of them. I probably have a list somewhere. Uh, I'm good. I think I can use Google. My favorite object I drew in the whole game is located in the swamp. Oh, that thing? I, I've seen plenty of those. Hey, titled its file as Big Rotted Stump Filled with Moss. Did you see it? Yep. Isn't it beautiful? It was just fine. Don't tell Greg, but it's actually my self-portrait. <laughs> sure. I don't think we can see Mars Pan. Wow, oh, hi, I'm Lena. I wrote all the music in this game. There's well over two hours of it. Which is the most I've ever written for one thing. When Greg first reached out to me about writing music, all he had was just a placeholder dog in a blank paintable room. And I was like, heck yes, I want to write music for this dog's adventures. That was the whole pitch. And the idea of draw dog was so strong that a lot of people were all in before knowing anything more. But there's a lot more to it, as you probably found after playing a lot of the game to get here. I remember starting on the game. I really wanted to write for lots of live instruments. When we were brainstorming what instruments to use, I remembered back to my elementary school music classes. Everyone learned music on recorders for some reason. And so my brain connected that with the idea of a dog entering the world as a brand new wielder. The recorders and, by proximity, Renaissance instruments became the starting point for the music. It's a silly, subtle thing. But the music becomes more and more advanced as the story progresses. So recorders progress towards classical woodwinds. And then synths that sound like woodwinds. Lutes to acoustic guitars, to electric guitars. Harpsichord pian to piano, to organs, stuff like that. Do people notice these details? Or are they just for nerdy composers like me to write about afterwards? Uh, the latter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the music. It's a really personal expression of my own journey as a wielder. I hope you connected with it in the same way I felt while writing it. Well, actually, really, I don't know much about music. So if I did, maybe I would have noticed, like, the difference in the change. All I, do all I notice is, like, basic shit. Like, it sounds more ominous now or whatever. I couldn't tell you what instrument's what unless it's something super obvious like piano. The year I wrote most of the music, 2020, sure was a challenging thing. I think a lot of my emotions during this time came out in the music. I think any long-term project is going to pick up the emotions its creators had while making it. I guess that's kind of the conflict in this game, huh? Hopefully mine are less creepy trees, and more just some darkly tinged clouds with a hint of hope beyond them. Anyway, thanks for sticking around for all this text. See ya! See you later, alligator. Oh, yeah, I should sit for this last one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg. I was the game director, programmer, designer, writer, and did some of some other odds and ends. It sounds like a lot. But it was all really, really fun. I have a restless urge to make things. It's been that way since I was a kid. And it's probably the main way I relate to other people, too. I love learning about others' passions and their creativity. In a certain light. This game was a way to explore the idea of creativity. And maybe give players a chance to explore theirs, too. I hope you had a good time. At the outset of this project, I wanted to learn more about creativity. As a way to learn about myself. But this game came out to be about a lot of things. I think because creativity is so central to who I am. So all these other aspects of myself and my relationships. And everyone else who worked on this game. Kind of leaked into this world. But ain't that just the way? And even after this exploration, there's still so much I don't understand. 
Guess I'll just have to keep searching. I hope you do, too. I've been learning to think about art as communication. When I connect with someone else's creation, well, there's really nothing like it. It's because deep down, we all share something fundamental. So a great piece of art can reveal a personal, fundamental thing. And give others a way to see that thing in themselves. That's why you can feel close to someone just by studying their art. There's a really special connection you can form with someone that way. It's not the same as knowing the person. But it's definitely something real. I think there's something beautiful about that. I wanted to explore that idea a little bit. With the way chicken relates to chicory. It's a funny and personal thing for me. Because I've been such a chicken my whole life. Uh... That's kind of an interesting one. Because chicken's like a name you pit... Don't... You like put in yourself. If you put in... You've been such a pizza your whole life, you'd say that. Wanting so badly to connect with people whose art spoke to me. But after making my own games for years and telling my own stories. I find myself more and more often in Chikri's position. Fans might feel they've had a really... A person... Or wait. Fans might feel they've had a really personal experience with me. But to me, they're strangers. It's so odd, right? And yet each and every one means so much to me. I put myself as truthfully as I can into everything I do. Because I want to share connections with people. I may, I may not know you. But if you cared at all about this game and the people in it, then in a way, I'd say we're friends now. And we might not ever have the chance to really meet. But if you want to give back, you should share your own creativity with the world. The same way we did when we made this game. That's how we can keep this conversation going. So to speak. I devoted my whole life to making this game over two years or so. So there's a lot more I could say about it. I want to tell all the little stories that happened along the way. But at some point enough is enough, right? I'd love to share more about the process in an art book or something. For now, there's really just one thing to say. Thanks for playing. Thanks for caring. And thanks for being you. Oh, Very adorable. That's still the best painting in the game right there. Very cute. They're still all chilling. Doing their own thing. Busy being an adult? Oh, uh, hello, fellow adult. I got here with my transit pass. Um, just as any adult typically would. I'm on an adventure all across picnic. It's going great. And I don't miss my mom or anything. Have a nice day. I know the truth. Mm. Three kids in a trench coat. Alright. Wow, it's really something to see your portrait up there, isn't it? It feels like a real end of an era. Sorry if I sound sentimental about it. <laughs> it's hard for me not to be. I really did always dream of being the wielder. When I got to put my portrait up there, it was very special for me. I hope it is just as much for you. You earned it, chicken. I always grew up wanting to be the wielder. I guess it's better that everyone will make their own brush, but... Well, I dreamed about being that one. And standing here is the closest I'll ever come now. Da -da -da. I know it's petty and selfish. But that's just where I'm at right now. I need to process this more. Wow! Oh, it's so cool to stand where the wielder once lived. I feel inspired. I want to make beautiful things, too. Do you think I could ever be a great artist like you? Sure. Gotta practice. That pretty thin. Well. We started this game right in here. Right in here. With a broom. Now we end this game.
I hear you. <laughs> Should add some more color right here. Oh, I did get rid of the uh, dial, did I? The fill one. More variety. That's pretty good. Well. Interesting. Full beans. I need it. I need it. Another game done. And I can finally go to sleep. Hooray! Hooray! And finally go to sleep. It's only 8.30. Hey, it's gonna take some more hours. It took three extra hours. Woohoo! It's done now, though. Cool game. I enjoyed it. Very cool, colorful game. I had fun making my art abominations. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh